Ladies and gentlemen, the Adult Baby Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Adult Babies Podcast, episode 153. I am. I big. thought you were screwing that up. I'm Chick. And I'm Chris. I really didn't remember. I did. I, I knew that. and I was trying to like number it to him, but I, I figured know. that was going to be like, what are you little, doing? I saw your little moves. And we have a very special guest today, uh, Mr. Brandon LaCaruba. Very special. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you are special. I'm honored. I have to tell my parents. They might let me hang out with them again. <laughs> they, yeah, well, <laughs> not if they're fans of the Adult Babies podcast. Uh, you never know. With boomers. Yeah. They're into whatever. So, <laughs> boomers. Uh, thank you for coming on our... Uh, our humble little podcast oh, here. We appreciate me. you. Um, you have a you have a fantastic podcast. Oh shucks! I I, <laughs> I listened to a few of. Uh, I we, we've had a few guests that have been on here that have also been on your podcast. Yeah. Uh, Guilty pleasures, personals. Oh, so close. What the hell is it? Singular, singular, plural. What? Just think about what I said. Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. Podcast. Oh, everybody right. does it. Like when people ha- like have me up on stage, I'll be like, "Hey, say something about the podcast." And like, guilty pleasure is personal. I was guilty like, ah, pleasure, per- close enough. All right, you're gonna have to just change the name of your podcast. It should have just point. been the guilty pleasure podcast, but like yeah. some hack did that years ago, and so, I wanted yeah. to copy the name. <laughs> I was like, I want to have my own name. Well, it's a fantastic podcast. I think our <laughs> listeners would enjoy it. I like the premise of it. Please yeah. jump ship from being a fan of the show. No, I'm <laughs> yeah, kidding. I'm totally the kidding. Adult baby. There can you know only be is? one it's podcast. Al- it's so. almost like that because people don't listen to like hundreds of podcasts. They you listen don't. to a couple. There's yeah. a few yeah, in the rotation. So if you add a new one, you're cutting out one. Yeah. So guys, and look up you don't guilty right pleasures. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so explain what the premise of your podcast is. Uh, so, you know, I invite a guest over, um, I, I have sex with them, and then, um, <laughs> we figure out how it feels after, we, we talk and it we through. And we discuss it. Yeah, no, uh, so, they, they pick the topic of their guilty pleasure, and then we just talk about it, and it's, it's pretty vague, but that's it. And the way, it, it's, it's interesting how many people struggle with, like, the term guilty pleasure. Mm-hmm. Like, first guest, Tom, Cr- no, Nick Tardo. <laughs> Tardo, nine volt. Hey, yeah, what, what, what is, what, what is a guilty pleasure? He's like sitting in the seat with the microphone. He's like, what, what is a, actually a guilty? I'm like, that's a context clue uh, title there. But no, it's I. What I say to people is like, like, what do you love at the cost of other things you love or like? Right. You know what I mean? So it could be a vice. It could be something silly. Like my pilot episode is on Transformers. I got a big old glass display case full. Is of that Autobots. your guilty pleasure? It sure is, man. I, I, I got like. That like two three thousand dollars worth of fucking toys in a glass do you case. really yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's almost like sad to say it oh yeah no i i like there i'm i've like accepted it as a hobby like there was a time in my life where i'd be really upset if like a guy friend was like oh well, those are fucking dolls but like <laughs> i've accepted it but every now and then i'm just like what the fuck am i doing <laughs> <laughs> this could be a reasonable amount of cocaine this yeah, could be well, a reasonable amount. By the way, I listen get a lot to the, of drugs. I listen to the cocaine episode. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> that is good. Uh, it, it, you guys took a long time to get into cocaine, but it was oh. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the I whole. I think a guilty pleasure, though, is something you're, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's something you're embarrassed to What's, do. What would be your guilty pleasure, Chick? I'd have to, let me think about that. Transport? And I will, huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> 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 um... Is it watching TV in your car? It's got to be. To me, it's not he a guilty TV. pleasure because I. it's just like a but more of a... But it's your thing. It doesn't <laughs> necessarily have to... You don't have to feel guilty about it, I guess it, right? that would be, yeah. Watching I mean, TV it, in your car is such a cooler thing before smartphones. <laughs> yes. Because it was like, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah, now, now when you had like, it oh. in your car. No, I just <laughs> I'd bring my... Like, oh, you didn't have a house for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I don't, I don't consider that like a guilty pleasure. Pot? No, like I, I don't know. I feel like a guilty pleasure is something that you don't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, maybe unemployment might be the one. That might be it. Oh uh, no, because I'm not. Fired. It's not pleasurable. Yeah, it's not pleasurable. Yeah. It's just well, that's right. You're right. It's not checks. pleasurable. It's not pleasurable. Like yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're <laughs> you, right. I don't even understand. I got. I, it's just you know, being unemployed is just it sucks. You don't have to do anything though. Yeah. Yeah, you could sleep. I mean, guilty pleasure. You could say yeah. I, I like doing absolutely nothing, like laying in bed, but. I don't know. 
But how you, about a good prostate massage? Ooh, have you ever had that? that? I have you, as a guilty pleasure. You're right. You yeah. hit on you something. nailed it because I wouldn't even call it a prostate massage. It's just something G-spot. I yep. thoroughly enjoy. You do. That's right. Yes, that would be a guilty pleasure. That's a of mine. good guilty pleasure. See, you're a perfect host because you can sense <laughs> yeah. where his guilty pleasure. I know. I can sense what people got <laughs> going on under the covers. <laughs> you look like a guy who likes to get his. Uh, Butthole tongue punched. Oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Scientifically, every guy should like it. It just, they you know, should. so many people are hung up on the gay thing. And it's like, it it's literally true. makes you come harder. Like, what do Is you that want? True? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I had a woman try to stick her hand in that direction, and I, I just broke up with her. Yeah. That, I, I would do the, the same. I will get yeah. you to the how I found out that I enjoyed this. Yeah. After I was 35, it 34. Was <laughs> no. Yeah. And there was one girl who just, like, I was always a guy who, like, if a girl even tried, I'd be like, no. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. This girl was just like, you know when you, like, have faith in somebody, like, things are good with you guys, like, that way, so you yeah. just, like, you know what? Go for it. And she started doing it, and it now is something that I thoroughly enjoy. She pulled yeah. down when your sweatpants. Did she get? <laughs> I'm not getting into the details of what happened. Did she no, if you, you could down actually first, at least with like a Clorox. <laughs> no, it's just something that, and I talk about it with my. I am open about things like that, so I mean, yeah. I guess it's not a guilty pleasure. Did it I happen mean, in the same place in your car where you watched all your television shows? <laughs> Oh, that would be the ultimate thing for him. I think it did, right? I mean, it's happened in a couple places. (laughs) The car was one of them. (laughs) He does all his business in a car. No, it's, you know what? This situation, she was married and, you know, it was, we had our, we had no choice but to make, you know, find places to do our thing. We had no choice. She was married and we had no choice. I don't know. I don't know where the correlation is, but. No, uh, because I couldn't go inside. Oh, 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 oh. (laughs) I love that you try. Yeah, that's why. No, I was thinking of of her going to that area as like she's married. We had no choice but to do it that way. No, no, (laughs) no. That just that just came naturally for us. Oh, it just happened. And you know what? I talk about with my friends and I always tell them they're all disgusted by it. And you know what? There's a couple who've like who've done it and say, listen, yo, you're right. It's great. Yeah, no, it's yeah. like it's like a science thing. It's like uh, <laughs> it's science. It is literally science. So I always yeah. say, don't knock it till you tried it. Try not to be so disgusted by it, and just you know, be a little more open sexually. Okay. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> this we is could, taking a turn. Yeah, no, for, uh, it's, it's, that exactly. Was that this is this week. That's one of my picks. Here's the thing: I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider it a guilty pleasure because, and only because. What does it come at the cost of? Like, have you lost friends because you've told them about it? No, like, huh, you're gay. And then no, not. no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, like it doesn't. That's why it's is hard. That, see, that's why I have a trouble with guilty pleasure because is it? Do you have? Does it have to come at the cost of something? I think that's the best definition for it because I'm not ashamed of my transformers anymore. But like, <laughs> they're still stupid. Like, it's still like <laughs> I, I have but dinosaurs. What is it at the cost of? But you've never at the lost cost a friend, of, right? At the cost of cocaine. At the cost of getting laid throughout high school. At the cost of, like, uh, it could be a vacation. At the cost of just, like, spending time on not toys as a 26-year-old right. okay, man. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's why. When it's a lot of money on, you spend a lot of money on toys? I don't. I, oh, you don't? I feel like I do because I'm a I'm a originally Catholic, so I just am mm-hmm. guilty about everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, um, now the plot thickens. Yeah, no. Like, every time, like, I'll be in the Target aisle, and I'll see, like, a mom, and I'll just be like, oh, I have a nephew. And she's oh, like, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah. like, uh, You're like explaining yourself to strangers. Yeah, yeah. At the checkout, they're like looking at me weird. I'm like, oh, yeah, my nephew and I collect. But no. yeah, he's 18 now and doesn't collect anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've done that, too. And I can't think of what it is that I've bought. But there's been so many times where I've bought stuff. And I, I say, like, this is for somebody else. And it, they don't care at they all. They don't give a shit. Yeah. And I wish I knew what it was that I was buying. But I'll, it'll, I'll, I'll hopefully you got to realize that most people in retail who are in a place that awkward things are bought are used to seeing it. And nobody oh, cares. Oh, hell like yeah. yeah. Also, and just, they don't they're care. They're having a long day. Like, yeah, they right. don't. They probably don't even think twice about it. Yeah. Like, people used to be nervous about getting condoms, which I never understood. I never Because if I was buying condoms, move. like, mm. I'm getting laid. You know, yeah. that's why I'm getting these. Like, I think it's just... Is that embarrassing? Well, so, no, but you know what it is with condoms, though? It's like the first couple times you do, you don't want to get the wrong ones. You don't that... want to get, like, the embarrassing condoms. <laughs> well, that, you know I, I, mean? I guess that could be it. You but the only just... thing is, well, I'm, I'd get a Magnum and be like, I'm going to have a lot of room in this. 
<laughs> is it true? I've heard the the rumor that magnums are just normal sized condoms and they just make you feel good. I've heard that too, but I've I never I've never had. The, or is that the because thing the I don't ever feel the need to, to get them? Better. I've never tried them. I don't yeah. want to embarrass myself if I they are bigger. Like, oh, I could use this for a sleeping bag because it's. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a cool a cool segment for this show. Is you guys should try on condoms? You should, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Chris, you get the yeah. rib, you get the thin, and I'll get the magnum. No, you gotta get you gotta get three of each. You all try them on at the same time, and you yeah. review them, yeah. and like discuss the effect, and then we bang the guest. <laughs> <laughs> well, this whole podcast was. I hope you like that anal. Play yeah. I brought if I brought KY for nothing, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> I think the embarrassment with the condom comes because you can't go to a shelf and get it. You have to ask, or at least that's the way it that's was not when, true. in my it's day. It's not true anymore. It used to Are be that 60? way. Are you 60? I think I'm close. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be that way. You used to have to no, ask. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, well, you it did it. Was. It I'm telling you. All you There's people, a whole aisle in CVS with condoms. Used to not be yeah. that. There's a whole <laughs> aisle. There's a whole aisle it's of next to the eye That wasn't. I'm telling you. We're the same age. You're wrong. When I first started, I probably started ahead of you. Oh, let's be yeah, honest. right. This went to the one not cool CVS. <laughs> I was going to 7-Eleven, maybe. He was getting his condoms from a trench coat. Dude. No, no he, he didn't realize school. he was, he was going, going no, condoms no. from the Resident Evil 4 guy. Like, yeah. what do you buy? <laughs> There's a reason for this. Condoms. Condoms. <laughs> oh. condoms were behind the counter because people would steal condoms. Yeah. Because people were embarrassed to buy them. All right. I'm telling you, this is what it. Maybe it's different now. I haven't bought condoms in a long now time. Now they sell you the extends fucking pills that are right next to the condoms. Yeah, yeah. You ever take one of those? No, I, feel I don't like trust you. those ones. If I was going to take anything, it would be Viagra, like something right. that is proven. And oh, you I want the brand wondered, name, huh? You want the brand? I name. I want the brand See, name. I'm, I'm tempted to like get a blue chew from like, <laughs> for free from like another podcast, and then just just eat it. When I know I'm gonna like hook up with my fiance, <laughs> I like and you call it hook up with my fiance. I don't you hook it. up with your fiance? <laughs> Did you ever That's, try and do it and, cool? and not tell her just to see if she's like, oh, what got into you tonight? That is ex- that's exactly what I want to do. That's the way. Oh, to do I, uh, it. can you do that and come back on and let us know how it goes? Oh, hell yeah! Yes, we, I'll take one and come here, but that's another. <laughs> yeah. We were on a podcast, and that was remember the uh, the hall. They were trying to give this guy the blue chew, <laughs> and they wanted to give him during the podcast. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. And I had no, that was the first time I heard about a blue chew, and they were trying to give one of the co hosts, we're going to let, what was his name? He had a weird name. Oh, too. Mr. PP. Mr. PP. Because this is the same guy who also fucked a uh, pocket pussy on the air. On the air, Whoa. yeah. I wonder yeah. if this guy's related to Dr. PP. <laughs> he might be. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. PP is a uh, famous. Super Smash Bros. player. <laughs> so Wait, that'd like be, actually? Yeah. That's like his tag. PPMD. Like a real PPMD. No, he's like a really good player, but he had to stop for a while because his hands were getting fucked up. Stop it. Are you serious? 100%. Is that a real thing, hands getting... Like, yeah, I for real. Imagine. I mean, I, I'm not. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, you're on it. I mean, you ever play a game where you got to do like old school games with yes, just two so buttons really you would quick? Get cramps and you get no, can cramps. People do like the inputs per second is on par with you know about like Starcraft. Like Koreans play it. And kind it's like, of. It's like a gajillion inputs on yeah. the keyboard per second. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Smash Melee is like on a similar tier. Where you're really? Just, you're just fucking that controller to death. <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh. Yeah. It's it's wild. But yeah, PPMD. I, yeah, he's a cool guy. I, I rem- wonder if he's related to Mr. PP. Maybe he they're might like be. brothers. Mr. PP got his name, like, or I don't know if it got his name from, but he got his fame from jerking off in different uh, Starbucks. Starbucks. In every and Starbucks in Manhattan. That, and he would rate them. Now. No. And he would, <laughs> and he would rate them. And there was like a whole article like written the about the ambiance of the bathroom, or is he just? just like I just think in the overall coat. experience. Yeah, I think the whole of, experience. Yeah, I think it was the whole experience. It was amazing. Yeah. Someone knocked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was just like it was amazing, and he, that's how he got. Yeah, the, they got written up about it. And yeah, he got an article in like Newsday or something about that. I don't know where the article was. Yeah, now but they get like a list guests for some. Now reason. they and now this this show. Today, me and B were McConaughey. fortunate. Yeah, to, McConaughey. They had me and everybody. B were fortunate enough to go on. Uh, what is it? Six months ago, maybe right yeah. before they got all these eight. Like it was me and B, and then it was like McConaughey. We like to say we're the stepping stone to Matthew McConaughey. They got big guests before us I for see. whatever reason. Yeah. They let us come they on, were like and then in a slump when you guys. They were. Yeah, they <laughs> were in a. It was they were in a slump. Let us come on twice. I think they quit for 
uh, six months. Yeah. Like, right, let's get and these they two. used Bonzo us as like Bonzo. a practice episode before they had all their A-listers because yeah. that is a good podcast that I will you plug. You were going to be a part of it. Well, not really a part of it. You Nothing ever happened. like a recurring guest. Well, that's what I think he... I don't know. Maybe I'll still come... I'll go back. I don't know. But I Rob did... Uh, Rob mentioned that to me and I was all excited about it. And that's Rob, right. if you're listening... I'm a call away, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but that was also when they were going to the comedy cellar above there. They do it on Zoom yes. now. My Zoom setup is trash. What I would, setup? I would probably yeah. bring down the uh, production he value. Zooms from his car too. Yeah, you have yeah. A I do a lot setup. of Zooms, so I got to get my I got to get my personal setup better, and then maybe he'll invite me back. Yeah, All Brandon, right. do you when you do your pockets? Do you do it in person or do you, are you doing Zoom? How do you, how do you do it? I do it in person. And I like I want to I want to actually have a Zoom setup. I I can't get my audio interface to work with my computer, but once I can, I'd like to. It it shuts you off to potential guests. I was just gonna say that's the best thing about Zoom is we were able to get uh, Katina when she lived in California. yeah, Greg. When he like, the, you're, like you're, Obama's not coming to Farmingdale, but he no, might zoom you. But he, he might, might zoom you. You're right. No, it does. It definitely opens the door. But it's it's there's nothing as it's it's always like I was saying. We we almost went back to Zoom recently because you know recently I'm, I'm, this past week yeah, because you had because a breakdown. I didn't know until today that we were coming. Because I'm yeah. a, <laughs> I've been I've been a little. I'm I'm trying to be cautious and uh, but there's something about. Zoom just takes the connection away from all of us. Yeah, it takes sure. the vibe from a, like a, a energy in a room. Not that yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. this glowing energy, but it's it's different energy. when there's you're literally, that's right there's literally, yeah. yeah. Well, I have this, after images to prove. <laughs> there's more of a feel for each other when you're in person than when you're on Zoom and the connection might slow and like you never know when someone is going to talk. Yeah, and you're always talking over some people. That, yeah. And that happens here too, but it's just, Zoom is always a problem. But you know it it it, it, it like works. You're a thousand years old. <laughs> but it is. Things they're they're always a problem. Yeah. It is, though I mean it's I I it's convenient and it's great, but it always. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't always work. <laughs> we should just all agree to stop doing podcasts. Like well, if everybody just agrees, but then I still keep doing mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one, one left. <laughs> It is funny how every, whenever I hear a joke about everybody's got a podcast, I'm always like, mm. it's very <laughs> true, man. Yeah. Especially if you're yeah. doing uh, comedy. I mean, a lot of our friends have podcasts. Have you ever point. been around someone who's like talking bad about people who do podcasts but aren't famous? Uh, <laughs> guest on my podcast, Zach Zorovich. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Zach Zorovich, uh, we're getting Zorovich on the podcast because he always gets mentioned, yeah. and we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get does. him on here. Cool. <laughs> I love that guy. I yeah, agree with too. you though. Like, I don't really care, but like, people no, just did, bash. We get we're we're an, we're like an embarrassing group of people well, almost. The, the difference though, this is way too serious for a comedy show. But like, what I'm about to say. But like, how many episodes <laughs> did you guys have? One fifty three. Yeah, you, you are one fifty three. Awesome. Like, mine has uh, thirty three episodes now. I think if you have it, the statistic is like if you have more than eight episodes, you're in like the top half of podcasts. Yeah, most yeah, of them yeah. are like just yeah there. Yeah, from there's so years. many that like you know people will bank episodes and not put them out, or they'll put out like six. So the f- we're, we're we're above we're in the above ten. Club. We are we are we are. We got well, big magnum condom dicks. That's right. <laughs> I think that's the one thing that we always like to hold our hats on is that we're consistent and yeah. we we keep plugging away. Yeah. We have never missed a week. No. We have not missed a week in about two years. In two years, yeah, yeah. That's Since cool. we came back, from we haven't missed a week. From episode thirty on, from episode thirty on, we have not missed a week. Yeah. So uh, I decided that I could take off. One of the Thursdays was Thanksgiving, and one of the Thursdays was because it come out comes out Thursdays mm. was Christmas Eve, and that was enough justification to not publish a thing that I'm not working on that day. Yeah. <laughs> so otherwise, I haven't missed a week. That makes sense. See, we do it. You're more with a guest based. Yeah. So we have a lot of a lot of our episodes are just us talking. Sure. So we don't always rely on a guest. So we have no excuse. So like we go hard yeah. on holidays. We go really hard on. Yeah, holidays. we do go hard on. We try to go hard on every holidays. holiday. Get hard. It's never great, but we go hard. We yeah. try to make things happen. We yeah. recorded a song this year. Oh, oh that's cool. That's good. Uh, yeah. Terrible. No, no, no. Good. I've gotten re- I've gotten remarks from people like, please don't ever do that again. I, most no. of the like it was funny, but. That that was so bad to listen to. I think next time we do something, we just got to put more TLC and prep into how we sound instead of like. You want us to take singing lessons? No, not lessons, <laughs> whoa, whoa, but guys. we got to sound a little more in key. Yeah. 
Please yeah. take lessons from me. I originally went to school for vocal performance Did you and, really? and music education. Get the hell out of here. So do you have a good voice? No, no. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, you, I think so. You can sing in key. Yeah. Or in rhythm is the probably the better question. I don't know if they would let me into college for it, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm all right. Yeah, we were terrible. We're not good. We're not talented. Uh, I'll that be way. into shape, boys. Well, we need it. Yeah. Next Christmas, we're going to have you back, and, and you're going to teach us oh, what we're yeah, doing wrong. Because it. we were flat. I think the word is flat. Flat. There's, very well, flat. There's a lot of words. There was a lot of words to describe yeah. that, um, and none of them were very uh, flattering. No, they weren't flattering. So you also do stand-up, though, obviously, we were discussing. I always like to find out how people get into stand-up, because I usually find it somewhat of an interesting story, how they went from something and then sidetracked to stand-up. All right. It's like a, it's a little bit of a two-parter, I guess. Like, there's the part that I've just always loved stand-up. Like, I got super big into Larry the Cable Guy in, like, middle school. Okay. You know what I mean? Just it just as an exposure to the medium and... Like, I went through this whole, like, range of emotions where I went from, like, loving to hating to just respecting what he does. Because, I mean, he's a successful comic. Dad, yeah. I, I've never heard a comic be like, well, you know, what really got me into comedy was Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> it was just what was a, what was popular Dude, and what was around. Huge. Yeah. yeah. Huge. I, I can honestly say that shocked me because I did dislike Larry the Cable Guy. But you know what? I was we never a fan. What age about? I'm 25. Yeah, I'm 26. Yeah. So when we were growing up, Larry the Cable Guy was on Comedy Central like every night. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was like him True. or Dane. I had arguments with people like, are you a Larry guy or a Dane Cook guy? And okay. we're both wrong. <laughs> I was just going to say, neither one of them wound up, but I was a Dane Cook guy. I yeah, preferred yeah, Dane yeah. Cook, but then after his first two, he just fell off. But they are such... Uh, uh, they were great. Listen, as doing comedy, these guys are at the top of their game regardless of what they're doing. They're, they they work harder than anybody. Yeah, oh, I get Gotta it. Gotta respect them. That, that's why. That's yeah. why I also, went through that range look, of emotions. You look like Dane Cook. Do people tell you that? No. I you have get, a Dane Cook look. You do kind of have a Dane Cook I get look. Andy Milanakis a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I get I get autistic Ben Affleck a lot. I was just gonna say, oh. no offense, I was gonna say a little less attractive Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. not insulting. I use it in a bit. No, you definitely do look like. I was it. definitely gonna. He does look like Ben Affleck, There's bro. I ben see Affleck. that hundred percent. That's the name of my OnlyFans is Discount Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> you should start doing like scenes from his movies, just you doing them, just worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just do them. Yeah. Um, discount Ben Affleck. Just, I'm a little less Ben Affleck. Yeah. <laughs> 10% Affleck over here. You go, you go like viral. I'm, like I, I redo Gone Girl, but I actually did kill the wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so Larry the Cable Guy okay, okay. sparked your interest. And then I just got it. I don't even remember who I was into after that for the most part, but like I just... Carrot Top? Loved. No. <laughs> Dude, Carrot Top is funny. I he like is, Carrot Top. Carrot Top's yeah. No, I don't I, on any, any of these people. But like I just loved stand-up, and then uh, my first year of college... Where I was doing vocal performance, music mm -hmm. education, um, <laughs> there was a cl like a campus club. It was a uh, first hour of it was improv, and they would just like the president would just pick people to do games, and then the second hour was like you could do like so many minutes of material to warm up, and if they liked you from doing that, they the club would put on shows. So like that was the first time I tried it, and it was the first time like I bombed. It was the first time that they're like you could do a real show, and yeah. you know. That was awful. So the college, yeah, the college, like awful. asked you to do a real show. No, the, like, the, the club, the club. Okay. Yeah, they were like, "You're decent enough at speaking. Like, do you yeah. want to?" <laughs> you can put that's together all you need. a full sentence. Oh yeah. When like, you, you first put, start, yeah. that's all you need. Just be able to get up and and not be nervous. Well, the, or not show that you're nervous. One of the main things is just I've, yeah. I've talked about this, getting the microphone out of the mic stand and be able to, to continue talking. Because most people get hung up right there. And, then and when they even get over. that far, they don't move the mic stand yeah, from in front of them. Yeah, and then it's them. standing in front of them like yeah. some <laughs> dumb pole in front. Yeah. Like the second you stop doing that as a comic, you instantly start judging everyone for of doing course. it. Of course. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but it, so that's like a common thing, just standing in, behind the mic. I like to find these little idiosyncrasies of like... Well, if you if you want to leave it in the stand, that's one thing. But if you take it out and then the mic stand is in front of you like a oh, shitty, like it's right. censoring your belly button, but <laughs> the whole body. Because like so just, many people have like when they first start, it's like I'm yeah. so nervous about or thinking what I'm gonna say, say. 
that the microphone stand is secondary. Yeah, everything, everything else goes out. The, out and the then they just fuck that and up. And they're like, let me just get this out. <laughs> and then they forget to move that. It's just... Yeah. So you know, you know it's a bit from those college days that I revived and totally redid what? with actual experience is my Thomas Tank. Thomas bit, the Tank. That's a good bit. You're the only, thank you for being the one guy in the world that thinks that. <laughs> it doesn't get a, a laugh like it should, but it it's hilarious and I get it. I like it. And it I always like it. Uh, you you seem down on that bit. It's so it's so like if there are people in the room that also grew up on the show, it hits so hard, but otherwise yeah. it's like it's like, why are you bringing that up, man? <laughs> See, now I'm guilty of this with everything that I do. That you hate it. I feel like I feel like you don't give it enough of like this is funny. You should love this. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I think I do. I got that like like you start it yeah. with already like. You're probably not going to like this, okay. which I do a lot. I was yeah, just going to say, yeah, I like yeah, that you're yeah. being a little yeah. because. I tell you this on a regular basis that your lack of confidence, or maybe because I know you have no confidence, or mm. you at least portray no confidence, is your biggest flaw. Yes. Because you shouldn't be that way, in that's, my opinion. That's why I, when I see somebody else doing that, I can see. I All can right, see, that All makes right. sense, because I'm like, who the fuck are you to say this? Because that <laughs> that's a funny bit. That is really funny. and like, Thanks, man. I don't think you're selling it enough. Well, you know what I think it is, too? Like, I'm definitely guilty of the uh, when I'm at a mic... I let the air of the mic get to me, but when I'm doing like a show in front of like real people, mm -hmm. I um, yes, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I totally, I'm yeah. totally like, guys, I'm hilarious. But at the mics, I'm just like, I, I, you all know that I think Thomas the Tank Engine is weird slavery. Mm -hmm. uh, I almost want to hear this joke. <laughs> it's now. A really, it's 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 smart. It's funny, and I don't even think you need to know Thomas the Tank Engine to get it. No, no like it's just it's idea. a good bit, and oh, you're thanks, right. Man. And I and and I I am the same way. You've seen me at open mics. God knows I bail on my bits before they even start. So I know I know what you're saying. Um, but yeah, I it's 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 just I think it's I think it's it's really good. I, Thanks, I really do. Um, I'll tell you I'll tell you after we record. It's too precious. No, I'm kidding. It's not, <laughs> it is not precious at all. Um, so I I did that and then I dropped out of music school and like put a lot of things on hold. And then I'm just trying to think of the best way to explain it. So, what did you want to be in the music? I was, that was going to be one of my other. I didn't want to deter your, you know, your head where you were going. That, that's like part of why it didn't work out. Oh, did <laughs> I, like I had not... no clear plan. I was just really good at singing. Okay. Like I like I grew up singing with my dad. He I used thought to you own... said you couldn't sing. He could sing. You see, oh you see, chick. <laughs> I'm a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take a few minutes to get through check. I'm a comic and not the Garfield kind. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm um, the Garfield kind. I thought maybe you couldn't sing and you were like an instrument guy. Oh, so, no. you know, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, I was just committed to the bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I, uh, what was the last question? What, <laughs> Sorry, so I'm out of it. Going into... Uh, Music school. Oh, yeah. So, like, I was going for the double major, which was stupid because I've always just been a terrible student. Like, I was an 85 average out of high school because I got – I aced all my tests and did zero homework or – you know what I mean? Like, it was just – I was just You're one, one of those. You're one of those. Guys. Okay. It's like me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the most – I hate myself. <laughs> I, I, I had a genius IQ and then and then really? actively actively chipped away at it. Over the course of oh two and a half God. decades. They don't believe me. And now you're on I the had an above, baby's I have an above average IQ. And I've tested. Yes, no, right. Smart boys. No, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe me. It's true. I'm just very self-destructive. And I, I um, believe, that. believe that. Yeah, I, 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 I cannabis my IQ down to a normal. I cannabis. I love you it. it. Too. You, you guys have a lot that of That probably, problems. yeah. I mean. Yeah. Is it, is it, what is it about you guys? I'm talking to, to Brandon and check the smart fellows in the room. Yeah. What is it about being so smart that you just sabotage yourselves? I think I just hate the world around me enough that I don't feel like participating. <laughs> I'm sure Chick. Like, I'm sure Chick might have a similar. Th th this is th maybe that's why I don't never really looked at it that way. But I am just an angry individual, and oh I think yeah, I'm so angry. Yeah, I, the more I, it's like he's like my fucking <laughs> twin, just six feet yeah. taller and looks like Ben Affleck. <laughs> I'm five <laughs> eleven. <laughs> But I think I, I mean I just self destruction self destructive and I you know I lack ambition sometimes. Oh, yeah, that's it. or I put my ambition in the wrong yeah. places. 
Well, but Brandon, like, where? Your, your <laughs> ambition. <laughs> I could have been like, a, that's why I was going for the double major, because I'm like, oh, if I don't get a job at the opera, <laughs> which people I went to college with are now getting jobs at yeah. opera, which is nuts because there's no events. So, ha. Huh. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you saw the pandemic coming, that's yeah, all. Yeah, I did the education one because I'm like, I could teach kids how to sound less like shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's So what kind of music did you sing? Because a buddy of ours is went to school for the, yeah, did the we, same thing. But we have an opera singer in our uh he um s- s- well, well that was what he was classically trained. That's the word. Because okay. it's like I anything before like nineteen hundred I think counts. But you know and then you say like classical and then the music student in me is like well that's not correct because there are other parts of old music that i have to sing <laughs> um so yeah he was just classically trained he hates pop singers thinks they can't sing not to all an of extent. them he, he said yeah he said it's like mo- like most of them but like you can obviously you could you could spot auto-tune even though it's gotten better and like there's this really this is like we're playing a game of like podcast telephone because when Neil Rubenstein was on my podcast, mm-hmm. he told me about this amazing YouTube channel that we then watched after the recording where this like j- this guy just like knows everything music up and down. He's like a producer. He's famous. and the, But like he will listen to the top 10 on like Apple or Spotify yeah. and then just be like, this is actually interestingly <clears throat> composed and has these interesting techniques. And this is why it's kind of cool. And this is why like this other song is trash. Oh, okay. It's shoot. Uh, I, I'll, and this I'll, is Neil does this? No, he told me oh, about okay. it. This is, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is just <laughs> yeah, a game Neil. of telephone where I'm oh, like. Does, does, did he make you buy a pizza before the show? Yeah, what After. <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> but I'll, Neil, I'll, Neil's I'll been on it. our podcast a couple times. Every time he comes on, he makes us buy him a, a, a pizza. That's a cool rider thing. Like, it you is. Gotta buy me pizza. It's like, he's like, listen, I'm, what are we eating? And then, he, <laughs> and then he threatens us if we don't eat quick enough to finish it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he's like, he's like I'm going to take that. This. I'm gonna if take you guys that don't last. want this, I'm about to finish it. It sounds like it makes for good entertainment. It really keeps you guys on your toes. It keeps it you does. frosty. It does. Um, <laughs> I, I like those YouTube videos where they, they have um, like a, a music. I don't, I don't know what the word is. A, a vocal coach. And yeah. they listen to like old like rock songs or like and they and they grade the rock yeah. singer i i love oh, those man too. i, I Ooh, listen to this, to this one uh lady and she like there's like an eddie vetter from pearl jam uh song yes you showed me that yeah it was so cool because she's like she's she never freaking, heard him before she's freaking out at like what this guy is doing she's okay. like you guys don't understand what he's doing right here with his voice oh, i love that his range whatever yeah, it is cool. and and oh, do so you think sick. a lot of rock guys don't they probably don't get trained vocally until they're older, I would imagine, and they're in the business, and then maybe someone sits with them and helps them out. But I feel like most of them are just – most of the kids I know who have bands who never got trained to sing, some of yeah. them just have a natural – You don't, like, really need training if what you're doing involves a microphone. Like, that's really the biggest difference between even me with only a year of collegiate training and then just, like, someone who thinks they're good at singing is, like, I could fill up an opera house no mic. Okay. And I can do that without damaging my voice. Whereas like you cannot not, do that without the training. Right. Yeah, you can't like even like it's that's really the biggest thing. Otherwise it's like if you just can be smart enough with yourself to like sound good mm. and know that it sounds good. Okay, I get it. It don't matter. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. Well they say a lot of the guys who scream will blow out their voices because <clears throat> yeah. they don't do it right. But like I've I've heard that you can also do that in a way that doesn't blow out your And voice. I heard that, too, and I heard some don't. Because I spent do. a lot of my life hating Scream, because I was like, I'm a real singer. But, like, it's it is, it's like, some it's a different could, sound. Some of them it's a skill. Sing, and yeah, some yeah, of them yeah, yeah, can yeah. actually sing. Right. That's why I always like Kill Switch Engage, but I don't listen to a ton of it. I listen to very, very, like, a small amount. But some of those guys have good voices, and I even think with some of the bands I listen to, I'm like... This guy sounds good in a band. Yeah. This guy has a good voice. <laughs> like, yeah. big difference. Big difference. But I, I could sing like Old Man River and get all three of you hard. Ooh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> give it to us. It. Come on, oh, give it to us. Really? Do you like give Sam Cooke? I don't know who Sam Cooke is. Oh. Give us some Old Man River. Come I thought on. that was going to lead me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to, you don't have to, but come on. You know Sam Cooke. I'll end Cook. the episode with it. All right, fair enough. We'll, fair we'll enough. take the boat downstream to the I end like of the that. show. You, see, you're good. You're keeping, <laughs> you're keeping them on a string. They're going to follow through to the end. There you go, baby. Like, uh, So after college, I started uh, running video game tournaments. I had one business, did it, sold it, and I started up another business, 
but I wanted to operate in Nassau. So we were like looking for venues and my business partner knew the owner of owners, I guess, of governors. Okay. So I started running video game tournaments at governors really? on Monday nights what? when they couldn't fill the venue. Get the hell out of here. I, didn't, I, didn't I love that you, so you, you grew That's up in a better, cool. not better than us, but like an age where gaming was starting to blow up, right? Like it was, it was yeah, like, like you were the, in that, I would assume that was, it just started really like blowing up. Competitive gaming has been a thing since the nineties, but it's definitely like, uh, been helped by Twitch and streaming because yeah. it's just like more yeah. people can give a fuck. And even the it. new service, like even the new systems where you could play and you know, I think yeah, like, online play sucks. You okay, know, like you, you could, like you could have the best <laughs> internet ever, but like it's always, it'll always give you a layer of uh, this is a Smash Bros term, Johns. So like complaining about something that really is just bullshit. Johns. Yeah, like like if you told me like, oh my hands got sweaty and that's why I lost like the grand finals match to you, I'd be like, shut up, why are you John, ah, bitch? Okay. Like uh, you lost. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like it's like you giving excuses for for like a loss, but it'll always be like a reason to John. Like a reason to complain you that you're playing on the connection. internet. Yeah, you could always you could always like say it's like lag or you know, ah, all right, all right, stupid. Fair but like that was the interesting thing is I, I my business was all Smash Bros. So that's until recently was like only locally played. Have so you, you had done to get this, people. the uh, uh, Super Smash Brothers podcast with uh, I think Tim Thompson does it? No, Couch Quest. We were gonna do an episode a. Tra- uh, Transformers fucking Smash Bros episode but the whole idea of it was to also have other comics and do like a tournament okay and everyone flakes on a day of the tournament yeah like yeah. everybody and I keep like offering my like uh my uh what am I trying to say like my skills of tournament organizing to just make it happen but like I don't want to step on their toes it's their podcast and yeah. then it just like doesn't end up happening. But it'll happen someday. It'll happen. It'll happen that's, one that's day. That's cool. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited especially if we pay into it cuz I'm taking all of their money. <laughs> yeah. Are you more of a guy who runs it or do you actually play in it too? Yes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, no, I that do actually what doing both is like the the Rube Goldberg machine that got me out of doing them. Because there is one asshole who is like a pro player who I'll give you the shortest version of the story because I'm sick of telling it. So like, <laughs> I was maybe like a, like two months into my first business running tournaments. Uh, a lot of the best players in the world at one of the games, because uh, they're all different in the series. Like they just tend, they just live on Long Island. So one of the best players in the world at one of the games comes to my store, wins all of the games, even though they're different enough. He's just that good. He just gets first place in each one, and then the next week he comes. He doesn't come up. He he calls early and he's like, "I'm gonna be late. Can you like push everything back for me so I can make it?" And I was like, "Yo, if you're talking like 20 minutes, I can help you out. But you're trying to make me wait like an hour yeah. to start one of the tournaments." And because I denied him entry into one of the tournaments, it happened to be the one that I like to play. He said that I didn't let him sign up so I would have a better chance of winning. Oh, oh, and. Now, the funny thing was, that didn't, like, mess with my first business, but then I got back into it, and he just started, like, this is, like, like years later, like, he's five years just later. He's just... Well, when you're one of the best players in the world, you got a big Twitter. Yeah. And, you know, he just tweets out that, like, hey, this guy's running tournaments again, he's a piece of shit, and he, like, just tries to, like, steal people's money and, wow. like, block people from entering tournaments oh, if, you, wow. if you know they're good. And I was just like... I was like, guys, that's just not true. But you're all believing him because it's his like Twitter. And then and you then, responded on Twitter. This was like a Twitter beef you had. Like technically, <laughs> like I I replied to like a hundred long comment chain because yeah. my name was in it, but I wasn't tagged because he's a pussy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> like I, I we're just, gonna get him on the podcast next week. Tell oh, do it, do it. He's a Long Island guy. Um, Vinny something. I don't care if saying his name. He's oh, shit. Vinny from Long Island. Got an ugly face. Dude, just throw, I was going to be a Vinny. A couple of those. Yeah, throw I was Ryan. originally I was a Vinny. A Ryan. Oh. That's when we have code names for each other. <laughs> yeah. wow. That's what we'll use. You guys yeah, Vinny and Ryan. Um, but yeah, and uh, you know, I'm not, like I'm salty about it in a certain way of speaking, but if this all didn't happen, I probably wouldn't be doing stand-up. Yeah, so like, so he slanders the second business because I'm a part of it, and it just made sense to stop running tournaments. Like, I mean, hey, we didn't know COVID was coming. That was a big reason to stop running yeah. tournaments. But like, it just made sense. 
like our reputation had been hurt by that. Our reputation had been hurt by we were in like a huge, a huge like 130 man tournament at the Cradle of Aviation when the newest Smash came out. And like we stuck the landing, but the internet and the venue was constantly going out. And that's how you run the tournament is like over a website. So like our reputation was hurt by that. It was hurt by this guy on Twitter. So we were like, you know what? Let's just kill it. And then I started going to Mike's, and I was being in Governors, not yeah. doing stand up. So, where wait, was in part governors, of the inspiration? Like when you were doing Governors. All like, right, so main room. How does it. Okay, it's in the main room, Levittown Governors. On the main stage was the whatever match we were broadcasting to Twitch. Okay. And then we ran all the cables back to the green room, which we were using as our like production studio booth, where like the That's commentators cool. would be, where the guy running the stream would be. Okay. And then we would just move the chairs around so like you'd sit at the rows of tables to like play your match wow it was so awesome. cool that does sound it like was that so is cool. Really, cool. really cool it I was had awesome no idea that you did that so what type of game is this because i'm not really like i have no idea smash bros no i have no idea what this it is, is get smash out Bro- i swear Dude, to- <laughs> smash brothers is like we we missed it everybody i know that's younger than me is way into it and i don't know much about it. you guys would love the documentary so that's Wait, how I a got into it. documentary on it? There's no, a... All right, I'm so in that. this series, oh, there's yeah, like, he's there's be, like you know. what, like five, six games in the series now. The second one was the big, like, let's play this for money game because it just happened to be, like, super in-depth, like a, just like a fighting game. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and then years after, like, it's, it's uh, competitive peak. People, like, tried to just find old footage and they just made a documentary first about, like, the competitive scene... But then later in the doc, it's like a series. It gets more into like specific. There's like eight players that have the title of Chick like God. I'm looking you know. at it. Yeah, the, yeah, doc, the, it's the a gods. documentary series. It's yeah, on YouTube. it's called The Smash Bros. The Smash okay. Bros. And, it, and like, perfect. I don't care if you like anybody listening. If you don't like competitive Ep- video nine games, episodes. It's I'm a in. great sports documentary. Okay. Like just in terms I'm of like like just following the history of a thing that happened and the interesting people and like the. Well, these man, things are cool. always a lot bigger than I always imagined. Like, even they the are. yo-yo. We yeah. Had the, the, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I watched yeah. that. Like, extreme, I don't even want to call them extreme games, but just odd or different sports They're like sports games. subcultures. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Force. That's, That's the great. best way to put it. <gasps> and everybody that I, like, people that I like and respect are all into it. So it's like one of those things where I'm, I, I have to look more into us. I'm going to watch this. I might watch we it tonight. We'll it. see. We can, well, yeah. I, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Bergen made a great point where it's like, attainable mastery of a thing yeah so like i spent a lot of hours getting really good at like wave dashing and like wedge ledge i don't even remember the term you don't even know the word but you're exactly but like i i don't make the amount of money i need to make to live so it's like it's (laughs) insane to even be like well i don't make enough money doing that like the fact that anybody can make any money doing something like that blows my mind well i mean and like he said it attainable because it's not something that you need to be you're not naturally good at a video game i mean well, like, no, maybe you are to an, most most people aren't but like it's something that as you play and as you can get it so if you have the time or you know desire to do it you can severely improve yeah. in those yeah right. so that is, like the yo-yoing although i feel like you have to have a little bit of a natural but i guess it's attainable for anybody mm-hmm. to be that good at yo-yoing yeah but you have to put yeah you, you gotta put some time in there. yeah <laughs> but that's what i'm saying i don't really think that I think that's downplaying some people's talents to an extent. Like, not anybody could just do it. Right. But you have to, there's the mix of putting the time in and having the talent, and it yes. comes together. Yeah. So you so, so you did that. And then when was the first time you did comedy? Did you, you were at Governor's. You're like, all right, let me see. Was it at Governor's? Did you do something over there? I, yeah, but by like happenstance. Like, I was like looking up. It was before I knew how to actually find a real open mic, and I just discovered like nobody the governor's, knows how to find the governor's like bringer air quote mic, right? Yeah, and uh, but it was still pretty cool. Like I didn't have like a bad time doing it. I had friends that wanted to come to my first show anyway, so it wasn't like the end of the world. Dude, and, I uh, did bringers for the first almost two years. No way. Yeah, a long time. Wow. Uh, Stand up New York. Okay. And it was and it was a night out for my friends, and you. Can get better. They see you bomb a bunch of times. Yeah, but it like 
But then you get good and you meet comedy friends and then you exactly. don't need regular That's friends how it anymore. Happens. Yeah. And you make a great point. Like when you first start doing it, you don't know how to like find an open mic. What's a bad slava? Like yeah. what the fuck? Well, nobody knows. Oh yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> nobody yeah, knows like that. bad slava. You you have to know people yeah. to know what bad slava is. Bad slava is is a website that has every open mic in the country basically. Does it really? You can find an open mic on bad slava, you know. When everything was Most open, places. Uh, anywhere, any time of the day, and they update it. And Bad Slava was like a comic. I think he, he might have been a New York comic. But uh, well, you know, when you want good Slava, but not today. No, you want bad Slava. <laughs> it's bad Slava. <laughs> well, it's pretty bad Slava. I mean, most of it is bad. <laughs> I've I've gone on that website and have a, a lot of disappointing nights. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The part of the actual like the big push was. Our tournament company got bumped by Louis C.K. when he was doing the secret shows there. Oh, I was so, at one of those shows. Me too. <laughs> because I got bumped. I was like, hey, I know about this. Was this I when he was coming back? Yeah. Okay. From, from the, the Was it when somebody recorded, oh, recorded yeah. him? I don't know because it was a different stage. I, I saw him at McGuire's. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, but yeah, we got that. That That's like my favorite. Uh, claim to fame as a comic that I got bumped got by bumped Louis C.K. <laughs> but it was before I was doing stand up. Like, so, <laughs> but how long were you doing stand up before you were like, all right, I can, I'm gonna, can, I'm like, I'm gonna pursue it, or are you still not like fully vested? I think I decided pretty early on because I was like, I just like doing it. Okay, but I only, I, I'd only, I was only been happy with my material like in the last. Oh God, this is gonna sound awful in the future. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like a year and a half, maybe a little bit more in, and I I kind of like still where I'm doesn't at. like where he's at. No, sure I don't. Yeah, I'm not happy I don't know. With my jokes. Like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling, man. Yeah, I I think I'm in an all right place. I a year and a half. To. Well, I, I like finding out what comics think about their yeah. own because everybody is. I'm yet to meet any comic who's like, oh, wow, I'm amazing. Like, no, everybody is supposed to have that confidence. Yeah. Also, what kind of a jackass would do that? Anybody that's like. There are people who in certain industries who are very confident. Right. There's there's like one person in our circles Mm -hmm. that thinks they're hilarious and everybody hates him. (laughs) Okay. I want to guess, but I'm not going to say. I think I could guess. It's probably you. No. No. (laughs) Um. (laughs) It is, you seem like such an ass if you're like, I just killed. I went, I, I. But that, to me, if you are funny though, like. Keep it in your head. If you feel I, like I you guess, really did I well. I guess it's the one thing where it's like, if you were a, a great basketball player and you come off and you're like, yeah, you know, I just killed it. I, I people see, don't, I don't look mind down- saying it because there's, there's like an ob, a level of objectivity where like, yeah. if you make the room erupt, I feel like you could say I killed. Yeah. Like. But I'm also at the stage where I've done 15 minutes once. It's it's all shorter than that set. So, yeah. like, I can't sustain killing for, like, 30 minutes. It's right? hard to get a good gauge. But I can get some good laughs out of five. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm no, happy with you. that, you know? Once you get five minutes of, like, solid laughs, that's just the – that's, like, where – all right. Then that's where – let me get 10 minutes of solid. Yeah, you know, there. it's a building. Doing this show and giving me the, uh, you know, this, the – to look into comedy and up and comers because most of the people we deal with are all comics who are trying to. G- it's just a whole new found respect for the the craft, the, the industry itself, and how hard it is. And that's why I always like to ask what these comments are mm. thinking because it's tough to be one. It's tough to go up there and be like, "I'm going to kill every single night." Because if you are killing every single night, chances are you're going to blow up somewhere. Also, or it's it's just it's tough. It's just well, you know, it is like when I when I discovered the. Like real mics at bars and yeah. rest in peace co- uh, coffee houses that don't exist anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, like I, I it those. was it was like I am dedicated to going as to as many of these every week as I can, and as much as like in the last couple of months, I mean it's been COVID. Yeah. Not that there has been a lack of mics, but like that's really the only time that that's fell off of like yeah. trying to do as many. So that's why I consider myself taking it seriously since the beginning. All right, good. Because like I. From my background in games, I was looking at it like, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna do this and like be shitty. Like, I wanna yeah. do this and I wanna commit and I wanna like okay. actually study myself. Like, I re- I've recorded myself since the beginning. Oh, all right. Like, I have to listen yeah, to my own to, sets. Yeah. Or it's just like, do you record like, yourself? Yeah, and I hate it. 
Well, I feel yeah, like it's it sucks to do, to but it's yeah. like also you your have, most important it's, data. It's, it is essential. If you're going to be a comic, that is the number one thing. If you're if you're listening and you want to be a comedian, record your set and listen to it because you will find your mistakes. It's, it's well, you'll be able to hear and and an objective. Of like, course, you know. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Also, back to like the person that goes off and is like, "I'm going to kill." Comedy is such a humbling thing where you can kill one night and then the next night with the same exact material, you could just bomb terribly. Yeah. So it's like. You should never be in that like I just killed mode because because you, you, at any point you there could, is a bomb right around the corner. <laughs> yeah, there's a bomb coming. Up. But like the pompousness of I've just killed in front of an audience that hates you is hilarious to watch. Oh, hilarious to dude. watch because you walk on stage with this like this like confidence and the audience like hates you more. Yeah, and then do. The, at least the guy I'm thinking of then just like just plows through it anyway, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> It's mind blowing when you see somebody plow through, and it's it. Your my my mind blows when I see somebody. Do you think like they that. just have zero self awareness? <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's really be. what it yeah. comes Absolutely. down to. Either like, that or yeah. it's a mental problem. I, I, I or do you think they're they, they know it? Problem. Give me no like tomato, Or do you think tomato, they know yeah, it right. and they're too um, proud to admit it? I don't. I think it's. A, I don't. I can't. It, it's it blows my mind every time I see it. Because I, you know, it's like any of those talent things where you see someone come up and they think they're good at something, and you're like, "Oh my god, you are awful!" And it's, and and it, it's like, are you not self aware, or are you aware and you're just like trying to? Also, do you just have <laughs> shitty people around you? That yeah, are like, that's dude, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that in this world too. But There's too much is. of that. Yeah, there is. Not enough honest. No, no, definitely honesty, not. Honesty, I should say. And not enough honesty with ourselves. Like, no, if you it's, suck, it's, you suck. Yeah, and yeah. doesn't mean you can't get, get better. better. Yeah. yeah, it you doesn't could. mean you can't get better. Like but it just that, means go back and practice. That's one of those things with like the getting off and being like I killed. You can't get better if every set is amazing. Yeah. Like if you're crushing it every set, you know, and you quotes, think everything then you, you should just be famous. Then you should Yeah, then you should get picked. You'll so get you're to, the if best. You, dude, if you cr- if you <laughs> were one of us Long Island guys and every single backyard show you did, every single like fucking JJ show you did, every mic, you just tear up every room. You would get like I'm not Somebody's saying that we have fall, yeah. yeah we don't have like Somebody people waiting you. in the wings of Ziggy's to like make no. us famous <laughs> but like you'd still get noticed somehow if you there's a guy that's crushing Long thing. Island oh, consistently I, I agree like with you. You would, in the information age anything's possible and and, and somebody at, at some point you'd get pushed out there with a video or like it, you would if you're exactly. that good like absolutely you'd get a reputation just by word of mouth yeah I once did a show at the Greenwich Village Comedy Club. Have you ever gone to the Greenwich Village Comedy Club? It's rough. No. Oh, it's rough. It's 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 a few doors down from the comedy cellar, okay. and it gets there like leftover people, and it's just a terrible setup. There's poles <laughs> in the middle of the what, stage. It, oh, it used reason. to be a strip club, That's and great. now it's a comedy show. No, no, like you can put podcast oh. stickers on the poles. You literally could. It's it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's good marketing. It's a bizarre yeah. situation, and they have a green room, but the green room is in the kitchen. So you Dude, just that's good. that's good French fry accent. You just they don't they don't serve food. They don't. It's just drinks. Nah, you lost me. It's awful. <laughs> it's awful. I, I I don't think they serve food. I, it's it's just like a bar in in a green room where a wait a waiter that also does comedy is always going through. And oh, waiters are funny though. No. Yeah, some of them are. And uh, <laughs> and this kid went up and in the green room which I use very loosely, the kitchen. A green room, just so we know, is a waiting room for all the comics, Yeah, right? it's just where okay. you're waiting to go on. Um, this, you could see the stage, and you saw this guy go up, and there were, you couldn't hear any laughs. And this guy went back into the... And he opened with such, like, gusto. He's like, I just ripped that room's asshole apart. Like, such a <laughs> graphic way of saying it. And we all were like, we heard it. No, it you is. didn't. <laughs> None of us did. None of us will tonight. There's yeah. seven people here. Yeah. And that just, it's, it, and those people are always going to exist. And I, I, it's probably true. It's just, it is what it is. And they're always going to be there. Here's yeah. the thing. If I was as funny as I am and I had that confidence, I, I feel like that would be better for my career. Of but I don't. But I like I, I hate being like, like acknowledging. The only time I've really ever been like, I did so well is when I was like angry because I hate the world. Yeah. Um, so like I, I did a, I did a competition in the city where look, I, I did very well on an objective level and should I have like won the competition? 
I don't know. I'm not that pompous. Should I have like placed in the top three? Probably. And the only way that like the proof to me that I'm not just full of myself was when I went to talk to the judge after, uh, he's a long time working comic in New York city. I asked him, I was like, is it cool to ask for a critique? I'm just really curious what you thought of my stuff. And he very politely was like, yeah, I'll give you a critique. That's cool. And then critiqued somebody else's set. Yep. And I'm just like, there it is. You just were not listening at all. They're not. And they're at the same point as like. You mean in the sense where he didn't even have any. Like he just. Like he doesn't. Yeah. He just probably barely paid attention. Either he didn't pay attention or I was that not memorable to him. But I feel like, I don't know. I made the crowd laugh. But that's the inherent problem with competitions of, of comedy. Competitions. It's just you can't take it personal. And usually it's something else. Yeah. It's but that's the only else. time where I've ever been like, I crushed because oh. I have to say it like this. I'm upset. <laughs> Those the, the competitions are, are, are awful for that because it will make you feel on a on a reg if there wasn't any competition, you'll walk off feeling ah, I really did my job tonight. I did what I was supposed to do. Yeah. But if there's a competition involved, you'd be like, But they didn't I guess I didn't do what I was supposed to do because somebody else got ahead Well you're of me. not getting the gratification yeah. or the yeah, like you know. All well, right. and like not to be a shill for like New York City bringers, but the only one, the only competition that I really enjoyed doing was the industry room because the way they explained it to me was like, oh, it's not like one person gets the spots. If right. everybody's amazing, we'll give you all like your starting spots. And industry room is very good with giving you spots on regular nights. Yeah. So you you can get a few spots if you do it a couple times. You'll get a couple spots. It's a good place to get in. So do you absolutely like I did it. I did it. Le- I did it in uh, 2020, and I earned spots. But guess guess when I did it? It was like late February. Yeah. Oh man. So like right I got my got spots. Screwed. Yeah, and then they're like, nothing's happening. You guys yeah. all get rain checks. And it's like ah oh, shit. And those That's spots. Sad, do you do mostly city work or? No, no, no I'm a Long Island guy. Okay. I okay. I need to get out to the city more. Okay, that's my flaw. You will. I... You will eventually. It's we're all here now. Did you start in the city more than you did I Long was, Island? I, I did. You did, right? I didn't do Long I, Island. I don't remember for you doing three Long years. Island. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I started doing Long Island uh, recently. I even a couple. I years can't ago. imagine because like I hate coming here. No, like don't I know. Know. <laughs> but it's it's still like like as much as I love Alibi, it's 20 minutes, and as yeah. much as like like I love Ziggy's. I was like I a clean it. forty, I, and not yeah, but I would still do it every week. Like it's well, just... you can see how close I am to my open mic. <laughs> That's like yeah, literally dude. downstairs. <laughs> I thought I had it good at like four <laughs> yeah. minutes from yeah, my venue. No, no, no. That's um, wild. Yeah, the, the <laughs> going. You should get a pole on. installed. <laughs> oh, dude, that would be fa- a fire. Slide, fire slide down it. Slide. Just oh, man. here I am. You just have like Joey work the list, <laughs> and you show up like you slide down. Mike's there. Oh man, I would I would love that. Um, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll see if they can install that. <laughs> That'd be hype. You could actually set it up right outside on your little thing. Right? Yeah, I yeah. I could definitely oh, get in. Oh, zipline, dude. If not oh, a yeah, yeah. if not a fireman not pole. In the line. summer when we were doing them outside, I could see them setting up. Get my, a hanger my and just outside. hang on the hanger and window. zip it right down. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> like fucking Tango <laughs> and might Cash. Be good for your back. Does anybody it's remember anything. Tango and Cash? I, I remember Family Guy references about Tango yeah, and Cash. Oh, man, <laughs> Tango Does and Cash count? when they zip line out of the prison. I love that. Oh man. Yeah. I don't remember. I remember the movie. I don't remember that. Particular. Who was that? Is that Kurt Russell and uh, no? I don't know. Uh, who was it? It was um, Sylvester no Stallone. Who was Tango and who was Cash? It was Sylvester Stallone. And hold on, I'm drawing a fucking blank now. Tango the was the monkey. Tango was the monkey. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and Cash was his trainer. <laughs> that's exactly it. I think that's all we need to know about that movie. That's why uh, that's gonna bother me now that I, I'm because I know who the person is. I see their face. I just Whoever's can't. listening that <laughs> knows Tango and Cash is. Yelling at their radio <laughs> right now. They are yelling. Right now, but. It's uh, I was right. Kurt Russell. All right, I was I was right. I was right the first. Kurt time. Russell played a monkey. Yeah. He was. <laughs> wow. That's pretty sick. But you know what? I want to get off topic here, and I, I something happened to me this week, and something happened to you. Well, not really Jesus. happened, but it was in my group chat that I always like to bring up on this with uh, a bunch of my friends, and somebody we thought from high school died. Oh. Turned out they didn't. And it was a different person. Oh, that's awkward. Wow. But everybody writes like, oh, that sucks. And and I write, I'm like, I mean, that sucks. But I'm like, did any of you, were any of you friends with him? Like, who cares? Yeah. 
And I got berated like you heartless piece of shit. Was this shit. before they knew it wasn't this person or? Yeah, it, everything came out, and then I, I oh, was, so you, so you thought it was someone you knew, and you're like, yeah, but you know, I didn't. Well, I didn't know. I didn't go into it that quick. It, we found out it wasn't him, and then I was like, why do you guys care anyway? Like, we didn't. He doesn't hang out with us. He wasn't in our circle per se. Like, my so my question is, are you that much of an asshole if somebody you didn't have a relationship with dies, but because you went to high school with them, you're supposed to like? That's like one unit of sad. Is that enough yeah, sad right. to like ruin my day? Not really. <laughs> and that's what I said. Yo, I said it my is like that sucks. Like that. My yeah, whole reaction it's, it's, it's would have been negative. Yeah. But I said that sucks. People die. My day goes on. And, I would. And uh, maybe yeah. that's cold. No, it's but not. I got berated it what the like I'm an asshole. Like your whole day now. And because some of them were like, "Oh, it's sad," and I didn't realize a couple of them still kind of know him or in okay. the circle with him. So I was like, "All right, is that makes a little of, more sense." You see this guy at a deli. Do you say what's up? I or personally you... probably not. Okay. All right. So then, oh, well, then it's nothing. It's just somebody we went to high school with. Yeah. I thought he was kind of a dick in high school, but that doesn't mean I want him dead. <laughs> no, you want to know something funny? The first two people from my graduating class that died after high school were two of my bullies. Really? And for like, I'm not going to lie, for a minute I was like, do I have really shitty superpowers? Like, yeah. Do I, is this like a. <laughs> Like if you, you bullied me in high school, will you, you die kind of early? With the fucking lipstick no, on fucking with the kill list. Am I am I, I a death note? Hey. <laughs> Did you were you bullied a lot, or was it just oh, two I was kids? So fat. Oh really? I was yeah. I was like yeah. almost three hundred pounds in high school. Collection. But that doesn't mean you got bullied. No, 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 no. Nobody has to know about that. No, the fatness was collection. Brandon, was I can't picture you as a fat guy, and uh, you've said this before, but I I just don't see it. Well, now you I got pictures? open Facebook. Yeah. You, oh, I mean, I, I sound weird, but you can stand up real quick. Oh god, I put so much of it back on, dude. But Come no, on. I'm not gonna want. Oh I'm please, fat. no. Oh, he can't even get up. But yeah, you don't look like. Look at this shit. Oh, bull! Oh, you're fine. Bad. All right. I, I was going to be like, uh, so, all right. So you got made fun Check of. Stand up. Did you, yeah, take were you this. happy when they died? No. You know why? Because the first one who died, he like, he, he kind of turned it around in a very like hallmark moment way. Okay. Where uh, we were doing a project for like, you know, in music class was just like one of the ones they made everybody do. Yeah. And like one of the options, which nobody ever took was like, you could sing a thing in, in front of the class. And I was like one of two kids that did that. And we had this moment in the hallway where I thought he was gonna like punch me, and he's like, "Hey, that was that, was, that took a lot of balls. It was a good job." All right. So he be, he became my like, you know, like, "Oh my god, bullies are people too." Yeah, they can um, change. The bullies are <laughs> and then the other guy, uh, I was like not happy about, but I was very. It was the most neutral reaction it's, I could have okay, ever had. Yeah. And, and, and that's neutral. what I'm saying. I'm like, picturing like a 1980s high school movie, though, where he pushes you up against the locker and he's like, hey, nice pipes. <laughs> and he kisses me on the mouth. <laughs> nice pipes. And yeah, he fucking grabs you by your starter jacket. And, he just, <laughs> and then he lets you go. Like, a, yeah, that's great. Oh, but like, Jesus. so it almost made me think, like, am I really this cold hearted person that this didn't affect me? Yeah, but you should be. This is a hard world. Yeah, I, I should do. <laughs> really, yeah, I mean, like, this is a tough world, man. It depends on the situation. Like, if it was, like, if I had a relationship with him or I had maybe a memory to, like, be like, oh, you know what? In math class, he was my buddy. Like, that right. sucks. Well, you know, that's the like, problem. Like, I didn't have any of those. So and my little moments I had with him was never towards me, but I always felt like he was a dick. And my friends who are listening are going to know who I'm Again, talking about. Again, I can't wait. I just, I'll tell you right after wait. this. But everybody else was like, dude, like, you're a heartless. You have no, and I'm just like. Am I though, or or I look at it as you don't even know this person really that well. You weren't really that were good friends. You're faker for having these feelings. It looks better because my arms are. Up. I get what you're saying. Wow. But, um, I'll show. I got. I gotta I get a solo one. I wouldn't vocalize it probably. <laughs> well, but my friends, but I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, maybe I shouldn't have vocalized it so much, but I also wasn't like I don't care at all. It's just like that sucks. But then you have, and the then whole, I move on because you have the whole group that'll be like. Go uh, when somebody dies that they barely knew. We'll post the whole thing. Everybody, about them. bro. And that, you know that gets to people. But everybody it deals with it in some. It's it's hard to judge people for how they feel yeah, about because something. You, and, and and that's now, the other it thing. It's weird though when someone maybe not for you guys anymore, but when someone your age dies. Hmm. Yes, it is a little weird. No, it's weird. It's a, it's but a it, weird feeling. It yeah. affects Even if you. Barely you knew. That weirdness I know you're talking yeah. about feels like, oh my god, you're not yeah, untouchable fuck, at man, your that age. Guy was 25. Yes, <laughs> but that you're not upset because it's him. You're wow. upset because it hits close to home. Yeah. The age. Yeah, no, that could have been, been me. <laughs> That's a selfish part of you. Like I maybe need to start 
doing things a little yeah. differently. But the good, the long story is he's alive and well. Right, well, we're glad he's alive. By and the way, I like am I an asshole? No, I don't. No, think you're not you an asshole. No, I thought you guys. I thought I you were gonna be like no. from vocalizing it though. And you're right. Like it's I shouldn't vocalize that you call a lot you an of asshole, things. but you're not an asshole. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. But it dep- if I just found out somebody had died, <laughs> I don't know if I'd be like, oh, good riddance. Who cares? That's kind of. I would. Take I was a like, how about that Nick game tonight? Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> like that, that someone dies and they're sad and he's like, people die all the time. That's kind of what I said. It's people like, die, the grass grows. Uh, That's what happens. I always just... World keeps spinning. Because I, I always look at it then when somebody like when somebody does die and it's just like, <laughs> yeah, the world goes, man. Yeah, like, yeah I, I want to get back. No whole, shot that I, you look like... That yeah, let's go like back. Right, Andy Milanakis. Oh my God. I can confirm. When you told me Andy Milanakis, that's why I was shocked. <laughs> Brandon LaCaruba was fat. That's like the first I thing only I did know comedy, skinny though. you. I don't ever remember making fun of somebody in high school because they were fat. Because like, you were also fat. Yeah. No, I wasn't. It's like, in high it's like a tab. I was you're not right. fat in high school. But you were chunky. But I wasn't fat. No, you're right. Did you wear husky clothes? No, but my point was like I would make fun of people for other things. But like <laughs> because you're fat was never to me something. No, like, no. If it was, it was a friend. That's yeah, like, if it was know, a friend, and I'd be like, "You fat fuck!" You like, poke oh, him in yeah, his tits. Different. Yeah, like it was different. I mean, I never. I I like to think I wasn't really a bully in high school anyway, and I, I you know, I, I could have been. I don't know, but I don't ever remember seeing. Oh, look at this fat! Like, uh, who cares? Right. Maybe with your friends, you see it's like a, a chick or something. You be like, oh, look at this fat chick! Like we were all assholes. It is what it is. But yeah, but you like, weren't getting like satisfaction off of making exactly. somebody want to kill themselves. Yes, yeah. right. exactly. So like, did you have like like people that were just awful to you? It was like like sometimes yeah, and then sometimes I was just so used to it, I just like expected it. Wow. But like like I look back on it and there were some times where I was like that person was not trying to make me like want to kill myself, but then there were some people that was like how they got by. Yeah. God, that's And those shit. are the ones you usually have the most issues. And that's a oh, fact. Yeah, for yeah, sure. You're for kinda, sure. Of projection. It now is. That you, yeah. Now that you're older, can you look at them as like, well, that's a him problem. You know what I mean? Like yeah, him. Yeah, 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 totally. Like, I mean, I don't know. Anybody I, just, I just wish I stopped drinking soda in high school. Was and it not soda? After, that was the first one to go. I was like, no, so I just love I seltzer. I need to stop drinking Chick's soda. A big soda guy. So, people hate seltzer, I and I hate them. I all day. I yeah, love man. seltzer. Love I don't That's hate the... seltzer, but because I like soda, the lack of flavor in seltzer. But flavored it's seltzer. It's like, yeah, it's a it's real boring revolution. to me. You get a great the LaCroix boring. revolution is upon us, gentlemen. LaCroix, it, it you is. get the grapefruit LaCroix? It's Pomplemousse, dude. <laughs> Wait, which, what's yeah. upon us? I missed that. The LaCroix movement. And LaCroix is the brand of... That's the drink, right? Okay, yes. Essenced seltzers that have zero calories. But ah. they have enough flavor that you feel like you're drinking something. I, and that's you, been my big issue. Chick- LaCroix, you, you can sponsor get on. me. You I got to get, get on it. I got to yeah, get on LaCroix. I was go a, to Target, you get like five cases, and then you just are hydrated till they run out. I was a polar yeah. seltzer guy. Um, I like polar. Yeah, they're I, all fine. I, I just love them. And I don't drink them as much as I used to. Yeah. I should. But uh, I they're fantastic, and you get real used to it. Like And, yep. and then... It gets to a point where you, if you do have a soda, and I was never a big soda drinker. You don't so like it anymore, right? Where you're like, ah, it's too sweet. Yeah. So, so what made you like change? What made you want to lose? I, I mean, obviously. Uh, just like the that. depths of self-loathing. Yeah. And like, uh, yeah, I was going to say, was it more a personal and health thing? Or was it like, I'm sick of these fucking people. I need to just. Uh, you know what it was? I, I dropped out of college, and it was like the first time in my life that like I wasn't under the illusion that I was going to fucking sing at the opera, you know? And I was like, figure, I just, that was the time I figured out a lot of shit in yeah. my life, uh, was, was that first year after dropping out and like working at a video game store, like nine to five, and it was just, it wasn't bad, but like, it just gave me a lot of time to think, and I did keto. And uh, my uh, I know my my worked out. my parents are doing the keto right now. She but they're not like they're on it. It's hard. They they follow it's it, but they're hard. not it like, be, but like they're not to the book on it because when my dad's pretty healthy as it is. And my mother, I mean, they're both pretty healthy. They're not they don't eat bad to begin them? with. Uh, I, I was I'm still I'm back still doing here. the thing with Katina. So okay. it's not really keto friendly. It's just healthier than I've been doing anyway. So I don't know. I, I've been completely convinced that carbs are the devil and we should purge them from our society <laughs> speaking of carbs i'm making a new sourdough bread right over there if anybody wants some. dude that's how i got fat huh. sourdough my dad, bread my dad owned my dad owned uh, restaurants when i was growing up oh, and really? the 
Yeah, the the bread guy. Yeah, he baked his own bread every morning, oh like my five a.m. Yeah, he nice did his own sourdough. I got my bread proof he, right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna had, bake it when you guys are l- d- gone. Can he I tell you that's one of my mother, biggest things? You know? Is bread. Yeah. I I absolutely love bread. I, I black like out two worst things in front of a sour, yeah. good sourdough loaf. Like I'll black out and wake up in the street, you know, and in like a diabetic coma. It's do not you good. Not touch sourdough anymore? Do you no, away? I do. That's the problem. That's why I'm because I'll make the you COVID a loaf. thirty I'll make is real. You a loaf one of these. Days. I was gonna say, I, look, were you I'll, skinnier yeah, before you, COVID? Is COVID kind of setting you back? All right, so I was in the best shape of my life exactly when I started stand up. I had done CrossFit for six months. Oh, wow. Okay. I let myself go. I, this is why I only know you as a skinny guy. Like, it blows my mind to... Because you <laughs> just you only know him in the I comic only know, scene. I, yeah, I only know you, like, as a skinny guy. It, yeah. it, it's crazy. Like, I got fatter from starting stand-up until the winter of 2019. And then I was like, this is becoming a maybe a problem. And then COVID hit. And I was oh, like, I'm not turning no. this ship around now. <laughs> I was literally like a DoorDash that driver. Don't worry. Oh. Why you were door- sitting here throwing bread that. in his face. Look at that. That's beauty. Uh, yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, I want to fuck that's, it. That's bread that's about to be baked. Yeah. Can I ask you guys a quick question no. while we're on the bread I thing? Give that bread yeah. a nope. cream filling. I want to know what you guys, what your uh, thoughts on this. I want you to make semolina bread. I, I, I will. Are we getting to eat this bread again? Well, here's my. Here, this is. I want to get your take on this. Um, I'm gonna start making. Loaves to people, bring them to people. Like I've, I've been saying, you're just Tom Papa now. I am Tom Papa. I love it. Uh, yeah, um, this makes me this makes me laugh. I want to get I want to get bread your, guy. I got a bread guy now. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm up for holidays. Everybody, <laughs> I bought a I bought a uh, a stamp with my name on it. With you my stamp your bread. I'm gonna st- not the bread, but the the bag. No, stamp the bread. Love no no. no, no you don't no. put ink on a slice it and stamp not the slices. Ink, just stamp like an imprint. Oh, like an imp- yeah, oh, just an oh, imprint the bread. Hard. That's cool. It's gonna. That's it's, different. It is, but it, I feel like it would ruin the consistency. No, it wouldn't. So, it's the bread's cooked. No, it would. It would totally make it taste totally different. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not messing around. Here's what I want to ask you guys. My friend, good friend, just had a baby. I'm going to deliver them tomorrow a fresh sourdough. What do you think about that? I think it's a missed like opportunity. That. You should make a like. Uh, I think what are the baby holders. A, what I think go make? bring them a onesie on. and, and that's call it a call it a, a call it a shot. That's what everybody does. No, I like yeah. What, what, I what like am I what bread. am I thinking of? Not because this is a gift for them, not the baby. Yeah. If, yeah. if a yeah. stroller, even the baby just born, bro. But they need clothes. They need stuff for the baby. Are they just baskets? A baby make a basket out of bread that they put the baby in. They eat the bread like a like a bread bowl. But you, you eat it put around the, the baby, baby in this once it rises. <laughs> but you eat it around the baby. Let me tell you something. Here's here's my take on this chick, because I everybody's like bring them diapers. They want diapers. First of all, in an, I'd never bring anybody anything for their kid. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna go out of my way and bring them diapers or pajamas. You'll go and you'll make them bread. Right? Yes. Whatever. That's no, it's fine. a nice gesture. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, I don't think it's a bad gesture. I just think it's. Some, I had one like, person say that it's ridiculous, and I'm an idiot for even doing that. I kind no, of. No, no, I no. lean more I towards them than anything. No. Dude, if you deliver it to like gift. keto parents, then you're a dick. No, and they're not keto parents. Yeah. But he, picture this scenario: you just had a kid. You're back home from the hospital. Yeah, it's hectic. There's a lot of stuff going on, and then Brendan comes by and drops off a hot loaf of sourdough bread at night. You put a little butter on it. Come on, a little olive oil <laughs> dip. You're not gonna. You're not gonna be like, man. No, I wish I had so diapers. So tired I that they want to go to sleep. Show. Yeah, they're gonna need diapers to change their baby. They're gonna be exhausted. They're, they're gonna, gonna be tired. They're gonna get. Them. So if you want to give them no, food, no, give them something that they could eat, not so, like a teaser. Gonna deliver, he's gonna deliver. Not like a teaser, nice, like a meal. Filling, relaxing. You, think you can't eat bread. You could eat bread. bread. No, you know what they need when they get home from the hospital is a meal, not bread. So you bring them a meal. I'm, I'm not, not bringing them anything. All right, to Jake's, <laughs> to Jake's <laughs> defense, to Jake's defense, bread is the like most nutritionally devoid thing you can eat other than actual sugar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so you, it's like you would bake someone some brownies. And bring it over, right? Yeah, that's different. Tons of sugar trying to give them diabetes. diabetes. That's a dessert. That's better. That's no, better. this is this is like what bread you give somebody when they're waiting on their meal. Well, they are. They're waiting on their meal from somebody else that's going to bring it to No them. one's bringing them the I meal. Think Nobody's thinking about okay. loaves of bread. No, no. Chick, you don't value how 
orgasmic good bread can he be. Doesn't. No, I do. So this is no, I don't think I'll, you do, Chick. I like bread more than everybody on here, no, bullshit, and I don't bro. want beef semolina yeah, bread. Yeah, he, he, that's he, such a front. No, he likes that's bread such in the a same front. way. That's such a front. He likes bread in the same way he likes oranges because he drinks Sunkiss. Yeah, he gets this no, like I, absolutely. I you get you get wonder you get wonder bread. You're like you get good stuff. He gets the bread out of a bag. Exactly. You guys know I'm a fat Italian. You think I don't love bread? Your mom goes to a lot of fat Italians. So these shit. I'm not saying we have homemade bread. Well, no, you're getting Wonder Bread and you're Brandon, like, oh, you know. Well, Brandon, you got fat on homemade here's bread. Here's the story. That's how here's how good my dad's bread was. Oh, well, I believe it. I want He would have it. interns come out of culinary school work with him, and they'd be like, you're working like 14-hour days. Why would you do that and bake your own bread and not go to like the bakery you like the most, and you work at a deal, and you buy their bread? And he's like, he'd walk them, he had his bakery downstairs, he'd walk them upstairs to the dining room and he'd point out three tables that are, it's like two people, a $400 bottle of wine, and mm. just the complimentary bread. And he's like, oh. they came for the bread. He's right. It's, it, dude, it's, it's, it's You gotta insane. get, you, do you fuck with Kerrygold butter? I do, oh, I do, best. and I, and I have. You don't to. always gotta spring for it, but when you do, it's a good occasion. No, and I'm gonna, I haven't done it yet. I've made like, I started this like, like a, I, I guess maybe a year and a half this ago. This journey? I started this. Shut up. Yeah, it's a journey. I mean, what am I going to say? I, I, this bread fell upon me. I no, you, you made you made a bread today. Or this week. Well, last, whatever no, 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 no. it was. See, this is why bread should be it. your guilty pleasure. He doesn't get it. Because at the very least, well, I mean, it is extremely nutritionally devoid, so that's why you could be guilty about Stop it. Stop saying but, it's that. Uh, you know what? <laughs> but it's extremely delicious. Oh, it makes my tongue come. It's, yeah. Like, it's great. <laughs> um, but it's something like, like, People might give you shit for it because it's like okay, it's it's, just a, it's a hobby. You know what I mean? It's a it hobby is, like anything else. <laughs> he looks at me because look at that. Bitch. You All don't right. understand? It's not that I give him shit for making the bread. It's the yeah. big deal he makes about him making the bread. Well, baking is so much more science than cooking. You kind of got to be. You you have to be, or else Chris, it comes out like stop ass. Stop him. him. <laughs> it's, it's an everyday thing. It's My so starter is right there. I know. <laughs> It's every He's day. He's got that gross fucking thing that sits on his right next to you. <laughs> it is something I do every day. It's it's something I I, I care for every day. This looks like a fucking jar. I know what it looks like. I know what that looks like. Oh, dude, that's the starter. But you know what that reminds me of? There's this famous <laughs> yeah, I know 4chan what it thread. You. There's a famous 4chan thread of a kid with a mason jar and a My Little Pony doll. <laughs> oh. Uh. And he's like, I'm just going to fill up this jar and see what happens to the figurine. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a lot of cum. There's a lot of cum. <laughs> that is a lot of cum. Yeah. Fucking disgusting. So that's like you're like a week into the fill it up the pony project. Well, I was a lot further a in, but I'm, I'm making two loaves tonight. Or yeah. One yeah. tonight and one tomorrow. Dude, I you're, you're right. And I, I get it. It's not for you, Chick, but it is... It, it takes over your whole thing, and Brandon, I'm sure your dad would would know. It's something that's once you get into it, it's it kind of takes over. It's and it's fantastic. It's a, it's a process. It takes over what? It's all you, you think about is bread. Yeah, it's a it's a incredibly complicated. Your dad process. had a restaurant, a successful restaurant where yeah. he made his I bread. I don't think you realize, this kid. <laughs> but you what you're but here's he the thing. Get it. Baking is is science. If you fuck up the amount of things and you don't weigh it properly you exactly. get a totally different product like cooking you can grams. kind of be like like you're Italian when you cook around like ah, a little bit of this so throw this <laughs> and then yeah, like, like with bread that. it's like if, if I don't do this by the book I'm gonna get like that flat Jew bread like exactly. where they, it doesn't rise <laughs> Dude, I kind of, I, that's pretty good too <laughs> All day, I don't know, man I like all fluffy day, bread all day I'm, 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 I'm stretching I want to see you make a semolina bread what even? What is semolina? Why are you obsessed what with semolina? That? It's a cool Italian, word. It's a great Italian yeah, bread. I can, I'll, I'll, what is it? It tastes it's better than that. No, sourdough is the best It's the bread. seated uh, Italian it's, it's, like it's, bread. It's semolina amazing. Semolina is great. Semolina is great. It's very good bread with sauce, with bread with butter. It's just phenomenal. He gets it from Stop and Shop. No, we though, get it from like, A&S Pork okay. Store. Well, don't don't downgrade the Italian food I get. Well, I'll tell you. Fucking I'll tell you stop this. I'll shop. tell you this, you clown. A and S gets the same bread truck drop. No, they off don't. Of yes, yeah, they, they do. do. No, they don't. They yes, totally they do. do. Okay, you dummy. Okay. There's a there's some like really cool like really small time bakeries around that are doing just some really good work. Like yeah. I forget what it's called. So sorry, I'm not plugging you, but uh, this place in Centerport, you just like you you have to go like early in the day because they just sell out. They just like there's a, yeah, there's a lot of places like but that. they I crush it. In. But really, the the thing is, if your if your bread game is really on point, you got to get the quality butter. Like you got to like got to yeah. do the carry gold. You got to do the carry gold, that. or or you know, like you go to a farm and hope they have yeah cow excrement. I'm <laughs> that would be delicious. 
I am at the point where I'm... B just goes to the cow directly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With his bread. And it just, <laughs> just have a With sourdough slice. He's yeah. got the sourdough and he cow. goes right up to the bread. Yeah, the cow's my he, co-host he's over like, there. Mm, fresh. Fresh butter. I, uh, I'm That's just, not butter, B. <laughs> I'm just getting to the point where the bread is... I'm starting to be like, all right. I'm getting a hold of the bread. Nice. You know what I mean? Sure. It's like stand up where, where it's like, all right, it, it, it take takes a little while yeah. to get going. And I'm still not there yet, but I don't I, know if my bread I deserves carry gold. to get a hold of this bread. Yeah. I am getting a hold of it. I want to s- break in here and steal your fucking starter. Oh. You wouldn't, you would kill it. Exactly. That's, that's exactly what I would do. Just smash You're, it That's on. like stealing a child. No, I know. And you'd be like, things die. <laughs> things, yeah. die. Yeah. things die. <laughs> Should I feel bad? I didn't, I didn't go to school. I didn't know that oh, bread I didn't personally. I know that fucking starter. Yeah. Well, but, you guys are all jerks. But um, Do you think uh, we have time for my picks? Or? Yeah, and before we get to your picks, I just want to say one yeah, thing. Sure. Have you been on... We had we had a new review recently. I happened Did to we? check oh, it today. Oh, I haven't looked. Oh, now, the last review we had was... Uh, was a review it was a call to action for me <laughs> because they wanted me to do more of of my uh short stacks of pancakes oh. and i gave them what they wanted now this review chick is a call to action to you they want you oh boy. <laughs> to do <laughs> oh i know who He's this is nervous. yeah so this review can i tell you all right, all right. read the review first Just you read, read it no, no, you have you it up it. you read it you read it i do you have it up i don't oh, have it right. up so it's from our uh, a previous guest and a longtime listener, Mr. Uh, Matthew McLaughlin, and he wants more old movies as recommendations. He goes, I hear everything that Netflix, Hulu, Prime recommended from streaming the services as a, a week before the episode. Step it up. All right. And I he's, get this. And absolutely. Can right. I tell you that I actually was thinking about this? Like, I, I want to start doing some of my when I you know when I called you to bring up like I want to do that um, review on the one movie, my favorite comedy. I want to do a separate, uh, like a review episode. I think you should. I think exactly. every episode should be. A, After a I thought about that, I, I've been thinking that I'm gonna start picking genres and my favorites from them. Nice. How Time long do periods. You think, do you no. think he'll do it? Yes, a hundred percent. Because I have. He won't. No, we, I've already been thinking about doing this. We already asked you. Netflix is doing. Because I was the against w- you. I, w- I don't want to do anything that you tell me to. And this is something I feel like I thought on my own. Oh, oh sorry. He and now that he re- reaffirms it, I know I'm in the right direction. All okay. Right. All right. All right. Well, let's hope it sticks because Chick, sometimes his thoughts go right out the window. No, no. Th- and this Still. is an easy one. Well, you know us geniuses. Like, yeah, I know. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I will say this is a lot easier for I, me. Because I, I it's don't want to mess up with the genius process. It's all stuff I've seen. It's not like I have to really go above and beyond to fit. You know what I mean? Like, No, it's easy for you. It's easier for me. So that, anyway, that works. But go I on. I actually have um, Chick's picks. Three great picks this week. Okay. One of them is a new movie, Lies, on Amazon Prime. Uh, do you want to know what it's about? Or just, it's got an amazing ending. It's got a good cast. I highly recommend it. And I don't like, when I review things, I tend to give away too much. So I don't want to blow it for people. Okay. Do people lie in it? Yes. A lot of lies. Well, I mean, I have spoilers, man. <laughs> the spoiler alert. <laughs> Jesus. The second I mean, one. a movie called Lies and they only tell the truth. And it was all That true. should that do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, is he lying now? Well, is, is this the whole thing? Is this is art? Suspense. You're yeah. waiting for the first lie. You're, you're waiting, waiting for the lie and they just keep on killing you with honesty. Yeah. But uh, the, uh, the next one is uh, Crack. It's a new series on Netflix that, yeah. just about. Um, I can't fucking breathe. Uh, cocaine, about, the corruption, and just all the conspiracies about how it got brought crack. into It's very good. All right. And I actually learned a lot well that done. I didn't know. Yeah, it's very well done. Nice. I, I thought so. Um, the last one we talked about last week, and I haven't really made it a pick, but it's been one of my favorite movies I've seen uh, in the last few months. Probably it's One Night in Miami about Sam Cooke, Jim Brown, Muhammad Ali, and Malcolm X yep. when they were all hanging out after Ali beat Sonny Liston. It's like a, supposedly they were all hanging out that night, and it's just loosely a, based. Lo- yeah, it's loosely based on um, that night. Cool. I, I thought that movie. I th- we the told guy who Leslie. played Sam fantastic. Cook, I, I, he's one of the, he blew me away. Yeah, Leslie Odom. Leslie Odom, yeah. Um, fantastic. I, it really I, it I was agree. a very good movie. It was a great movie. Um, all right, I like. So that. those are uh, yeah, that's those cool. are my nice. three picks. That, like that that guy was requesting. He was requesting like old movies though. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He wasn't I, prepared. No, no I, I understand. Doing it this I, one. I'll let you off the hook this time. 
But um, <laughs> but next time. But it just came to mind because like I recently, for the first time, have seen Casablanca, and that movie, unlike a lot of old movies, is like super watchable. Okay, really? I've never I seen a lot of old movies like, watchable. I, struggle with I don't old think movies. a lot of old movies. I think a lot, a lot of old movies yeah. they talk in a different way, like they're performing. They're not trying. Did to you sound see like Citizen real Kane? Like they're on no. Stage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Citizen like, Kane. Oh, the movie. Yeah, see, like yeah. a radio. No, it is. Like, it almost is like I'm. I'm. Citizen Kane just came out on HBO, and I was actually might be going to watch it either tonight or tomorrow. And it's supposed to be the greatest movie of all time. I've never seen it. Yeah, so people say that. They say yeah. that it's like on all the top hundreds. It's always really? in like the top. Yeah, five. but they haven't seen Back to the Future three. So, <laughs> we know Solid Orson movie. Welles, Solid Citizen movie. Kane. You know Orson Welles' last movie before he died. <sighs> I I actually uh, give me a second. Hold on. Five, four, three. Nah, yeah, I'm accepting that. Go, go, go. The Transformers, the movie. Are you serious? That? He played the monster planet Unicron. <laughs> it was like the Transformers devil. That's crazy to me. And he like despised <laughs> it. He's like, I do it work on a com- uh, toy commercial. And, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm dead. Like, <laughs> that was Orson Welles' last movie? Yeah. I didn't even know he, he did He played that. a giant butthole that flew through space devouring <laughs> oh things. Oh, my God. Yeah. See, that's how it ends for all of us. But yes, Citizen Kane. It, <laughs> giant space butthole, the end <laughs> of the road. Yeah, that's butthole. how it ends. Have you guys seen his champagne commercial? No. All right, so it's Orson Welles, and they, they show the outtakes to him, like the drunkest you can be while still sitting the- upright. No, and he's like on the set. He's the star of a champagne commercial, and he's supposed to. We should just pull it up. Like, he, he's, he's like... You know, explaining to the other two actors like how cool this champagne is and how it's like not really champagne because it's made in California, and it's like oh, the best champagne. <laughs> <laughs> he just got hammered, and there's like cut one more. We'll give it again. <laughs> Another for safety. <laughs> All right, Orson. Oh my god! And then they show you like the the cut that they used on TV, and it's like obviously dubbed over, and it's great. Oh, oh wow! I he to, did that I Transformers, and then he died. <laughs> Yeah, that's the. That's I did the not. Path. That Transformers thing is a completely. Uh, yeah, it's like I, I, blown away by that. I didn't it's know the he did best that at all. fact did he I need have. Money that he's Probably like doing. Not. Like, but, but like, who knows at that time? They had like a lot guys, of money to give. You yeah. know, they were making they were making a lot of money back then. I mean, GoBots suck. So yeah. like, it was easy to sell. Transformers. There it is, Unicron, the the voice of the yeah. Unicron, 1986. What did it look like? Hasbro. It just shows the cover of the movie. Uh, right. Hasbro finally are putting out a movie accurate Unicron figure, and it costs like seven hundred dollars. Really? They had to do like a crowdfunding thing to even like make it in the first place, and it's uh, like I flirted with the idea just to like have it. I wanted to ask bucks. you. This at the it beginning, turns into a ball. But we we moved away from it. Yeah. Is there like, do you collect like rare? Like, no is there a market of rare transformers. Yes. Okay. But that's not my my niche is like I like the character or I like the engineering of the figure itself. Um, but the cool thing is, and like I and again this goes back to the having no confidence in yourself. <laughs> like I hate saying that I have good taste in them, but like I really do because like the ones that I just enjoy for me. Like All I, the I, that's sellers. why it's worth so much when I was saying before, because like I could resell a lot of mine for more than I bought them for just because like oh, wow. they became more collectible after because people recognized, you know, the engineering was good or, you know, just because so, like some of them are so obviously kids toys and some of them are like, did you beautiful. watch that show? The store, the toys that made us. Yeah. Because they so didn't have one, one on there. They had them. On yeah. On the I've, I've seen. I think I watched the. G. Did you like one. it? I thought it was pretty yeah, it interesting. Was cool. Some of the stories like were cool. <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's like it, it's it's a very good one stop for all of the facts about it. Yes, yeah. but it's like, not great detail. No, I wouldn't even say that. It's just like I you know, I'm a 90s kid, so the one that I grew up on came out in 2001 and they're the whole, it's the history of the 80s show yeah. and the mm-hmm. 80s toys. Yep, that's so why I, maybe I, I liked I, it a little I'm glad I know more. the yeah. history and I enjoyed watching it and it's cool to see like where the thing I love came, came out of from. that original thing. But I've also, when you're a Transformers fan, you I think you're uh, like 
like obligated to know that stuff already. Yeah. So I was watching right. it. That makes sense. I was Everything watching it know. like a fact checking thing. I was yeah. like, oh, they're yeah. right. Floro Deary did this, and uh, <laughs> Jim Shooter at Marvel did that. See, at least he gives it its credibility. Uh, it, yeah. it was a good show. It just like he said, no. they were generally older toys, though. The toys that made us is a great. You should watch the Transformers episode and then email me about Transformers if you're listening to this. Like I'll I'll have a good time. I have nobody to talk to about them. Nobody else likes them in the real world. Everyone they all live in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's the crazy thing about the internet is you'll find that group. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like, absolutely. Good. That's like that's the one so good cool thing about, the about it. And like podcasting, like you could totally do a Transformers podcast, and people would find it and listen. Because see, it's already been done so much. I decided to make a podcast about guilty pleasures where I could interject about Transformers at least once an episode. That's great. Yeah. So it, my show really is a Transformers show. It's a, a Transformers show in a mess. It really is. It's a, it's a you know. Yeah, because like I always have the guest facing the display case, so they're gonna ask oh, so about gonna it. Come up. Yeah. It, and then I can always <laughs> relate it. I can always su- like. <laughs> what a sicko! Yeah. You, so you you created a podcast. And just put so I can the talk about Transformers in front of something you're interested in, just so they bring it up. Absolutely. Oh, what a! Can lunatic. I tell you? I think that's why you're a genius. And when and when they don't bring it up, two I'll geniuses be like, going. Uh, I'll be like trans porn. I could see how that's similar to my thing with Transformers, and I talk about <laughs> yes. the, how bad the movies are for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so weird. Do you like the movies at all? Any of them? Okay, Bumblebee is excellent. The recent movie that's just called Bumblebee. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I thought you were talking that about just the character. That is very good. Uh, no, Bumblebee as a character, by and large, is trash. Um, That's the one I always like. Kid appeal. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he's the kid appeal. Like you want to love him, and then you're like, oh, it's been how many movies, and they can't fix your fucking voice box, you yeah. nerd. All right. All like, right. Uh, I kind of agree with that. Like, fix the fucking voice. Yeah. I, I Look I at these geniuses going the sparring. Where are the geniuses? I just thought the first one was pretty good, though. The first I one is it. a decent film, and part of what makes the decent film is you don't. <laughs> It goes without saying. You, now you're not in the Genius Club. It's just me again. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, um, <laughs> no, the first one relies... It, the first one is a suspense flick because they don't really show you in full shot what they look like in their robot modes until like halfway through the movie. Yeah. So there's okay. like anticipation where you're like, I know this Peterbilt is going to have window tits and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I guess they show you Bumblebee a little bit early on, and you get that like one this child is, you're standing talking about up. The one with Megan Fox, the this first one? yeah, with Shayla Bow. Okay. Yeah, oh, because like, all I focus how many on of was them are there. There's like six. There are six, six total. There's okay. five Michael Bay ones, and then Bumblebee is made by a different guy, and that's why it doesn't suck. Okay, I hate Michael Bay. I, I think you have to at this point. At this point, I, I totally have given up. Like he maybe had a good couple ones, and then it just got ridiculous. I love Armageddon. Armageddon, the first one, one of the greatest it's like, movies. Ah, oh, see, I, uh, I look at it with a like a it's it's a little cheesy. It is oh, cheesy. But that's fine. But that's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's like a it. fine it's cheesy. Cheese. It's a yeah. it's a it's an okay cheesy it's a classic, for me. It's really. aged I mean, good. And I love Bruce yeah. Willis. Yeah, I, I, mean, I like that. Nineties yeah. Bruce Willis was fantastic. So the answer the question, is. one is okay, and it's like a decent film on itself. It has a very like ET vibe almost. Two is just is like actual racist garbage. Um, it's racist, and I'm not. I'm that. not the kind of millennial to be like everything's racist. What's racist about? There's it? the two robots that obviously talk in what is it, Ebonics? Is oh that yeah, the it? two gangster ones. And the guy who plays SpongeBob is like one of those robots. He's like, oh man, I can't read. Like literally oh, really? a line from the movie. Um, yeah, they have like gold I teeth. I didn't pick up on that. It's okay. very. <laughs> it's no. no. Watch Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, and you will know what a bad Michael Bay explosion. Okay, movie is. all right. Uh, the third one is is like watchable if you're high because the action is good and it kind of makes sense a little bit, but it's not like a good movie. Uh, and then four and five are the Mark Wahlberg engines, and they are just oh, just there's, unwatchable. There's 20 minutes wait, of wait, of Mark the, Wahlberg. Did yeah. He replaces Shia. He was the like, one. Shia who got gets it. older and becomes Mark Wahlberg. That's how they sell it. That's how they sold yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even realize turns that. Into Mark he Wahlberg. ages into Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> no, that part's not true. Um, uh, okay. the, oh, the, 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 the Transformers. I never know where you The going, Transformers bro. just get new friends. Magic. No, the Transformers just get new friends oh, in Mark God. Wahlberg. Like Bumblebee's, like you're not my friend, shy anymore. But now it's Mark Wahlberg. Wow. But in those movies, the, the fourth one spends 20 minutes with like Mark Wahlberg's daughter is the hot chick in the movie. Yep. So mm. he's not the star is not slamming the hot chick. It's different now. So the guy that's slamming the hot chick spends like 20 minutes of the movie being like, oh, 
it's weird because she's 16 and I'm 19, but like, here's like, I printed out the the Romeo and Juliet laws that Texas has that means that's okay if you have a pre existing relationship. I printed that on a card. Here you go, dad. This is why I can fuck your daughter. Oh my God. That, <laughs> that happens is... in the movie. Oh my wow. God. All right, I have to revisit yeah, these okay. movies. I, I, I just I'm they're not like a huge the fan room good Bay anymore. That's a little tone deaf, I guess. Yeah, right? they're like the room good. They, <laughs> okay. they they're good to hate. Yeah, I haven't seen five because it's like Anthony Hopkins being like the Transformers were knights back in the day, and like yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know they made five. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't. Many. And I then I stopped watching after two. I, I think. so the first many, one and I was like. Eh. And I knew Wahlberg was in it because I've seen it before. Yeah, I'm just like Transformers five got COVID movie numbers. Years before COVID. <laughs> and it was so bad that they're like, Michael Bay, you don't get the job anymore. We're going to give it to a guy that doesn't hate Transformers. And he made Bumblebee. And it has like, he kind of looks like the Bumblebee from the other movies, wow. but it's a totally separate thing. And you guys should check. Like, Bumblebee's a decent movie. Wait, is it not? It's not related at all. Well, to different Bumblebee. director. It might have. It, in production hell, it bounced back and forth. It was part of it. It wasn't part of it. It was part of it. It wasn't part of it. And it just happened to like eeny, meeny, miny, mo off of being part of it. So like Bumblebee looks like the other five movies Bumblebee. Okay. And they give him a reason why he can't talk, similar to the other versions of Bumblebee. But it is technically a totally separate story. Okay. And you the girl is like, sometimes. instead yeah. of picking like Megan Fox, they picked a girl that's like that equal balance of cute and hot. Haley Steinfeld is the is the chick. The whole but first movie a, was uh, just about exploiting Megan Fox. Right, but like... Yeah. All but I the, could do was look at her weird thumbs. But, in, but she has You're out of your mind. She She's a... Does she, dude. Who cares? She could have... Oh, somebody pull up a picture of Megan oh Fox's thumbs. Megan Fox could no, have 10 thumbs and I wouldn't it. care. Check Does, out Megan Fox's thumbs. You cannot unsee her thumbs. Does Machine Gun Kelly get weird hand jobs? Like, is that a thing? Why uh, do you care about her two thumbs? They look like toes. She's gorgeous. So you know. I know what it is. But but she's she's done, done, listen, she's done enough plastic surgery on her already gorgeous face. Those that just thumbs, get them fixed. Though. You're already at the point of looking crazy. I don't think you can fix Has she, though? I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> I don't think you can She was relatively those. natural in those days. <laughs> That was a car. She was. No, that was, be- was, that was before coming. she started to look like a sphinx. I haven't seen what her was recently. That movie she did where she was like a vampire or something like that. I heard that was not bad. It wasn't bad. I just can't. Oh, I, yeah, I think I, I know what you're talking that. about. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad. She, but that first, tra- I just, I had that the that biggest crush on Megan Fox. No, no yeah, no, she was, she was, she's on she that was gorgeous. Cycle, it's like, yeah. oh my god. And a weird thumb. Oh, yeah, you can chop that off and put. It looks all. It already looks chopped off. She could wrap that around anything she wants. Uh, my th- uh, proved my hypothesis. Machine Gun Kelly gets weird hand yeah. jobs yep. for sure. No, we can't have that. Wait, I, I thought she's know. with uh, Machine Gun Kelly. The other guy. No, nah, it's Machine Gun Kelly. Wait, no, the one from uh, 90210. I have no idea. Because it was actually good. B. What's the guy from 90210's name that she was? Uh, Austin, no, Austin Brian Austin. Brian Green. Austin, whatever, Junior, uh, something like that. Brian Austin Green. Green. Uh, what was it? Machine Gun she was Kelly. In like a horror movie She's dating something. him. That's She's in this music video. Get out of no, here, really? Shit. Yeah, American like the, the popular song. Was she in American Horror Story? It wasn't. No, her. I don't think so. <laughs> if I am being used to be believed. <laughs> <laughs> is, <laughs> is there anything that you would like to uh, promote or anything that yeah, you what have? Shows come, you have, have an Instagram? Up up uh, man. Well, February 4th is uh, Danny Zags and John Sell's show at Lithology. I think it might be for Bayer. I've done it, yep. Wait, hold on. We have the train coming. I love trains. They can't, yeah. I don't think that's coming through the mic. Um, oh, all right. I thought it was. I so really did. That's February 4th because I, unfortunately, uh, at the moment, have lost my venue. We were doing monthly shows, but they still, you know, look at my Instagram, Brandon.Laka. I post stuff about my shows. It might be coming back, but I got to. I hope so. Me too. It was Great a cool place. Great open mic at, uh, what's the name of it? Open gonna, Stage Works. Open Stage Works in Hop Hog. Uh, great open mic. I hope it Thank gets you. back to. Uh, to full form soon, Me and too. then you have a, a also a show, funny nuggets. Funny nuggets. Thank you. Funny uh, nuggets. All right. Yeah, that was a monthly like six person. I guess showcase is the right word, but yeah. I don't know where. Nice. Who knows? Uh, but it was a show, and like I don't know, it was cool. I love doing it. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it going somewhere else yeah. for now, but uh, you'll figure it out. Yeah, and, and also make sure you listen to guilty pleasure. Personal, dude. There you go. Fuck you yeah. got it. Gets he it on the it. first try. Two geniuses. That's that singular, gen- singular magic. plurals. Yeah. plurals. Yep. Guilty um, pleasure personals. Great <laughs> podcast. Let's with do it. Van Dorn Lakachuga. Um, He's great. <laughs> um, and you were gonna if, if, if a lot of people from Farmy to listen. 
uh, February fourth, Lithology. Yeah, check that show out. That. You're gonna have a good time. That that they they Looks pack fun. that room out. It's a lot of fun. Cool. Um, so yeah, man. Thank you for coming on. Really, yeah, appreciate we do appreciate it. you coming you on. And yeah, B, thank you for letting him in your, your room or your your apartment. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we you were almost test positive. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, no, it's, I I'm, tested yeah. positive on Friday. I went and got another <laughs> test. What? But I told no. I told you the one I got. You were positive? Oh, I said positive. I you meant to say positive. negative. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I meant to say negative. Okay. <laughs> I tested positive Friday, but it's Monday, so, yeah. so we're good. I meant to so say negative. No, we are I good. was wondering why he was looking at me you like know that. Something great. When the first time I listened attack. to this show, and I heard chick just you get loud, and when you get loud, your voice does that thing where you sound like I was like I was like. I don't know Joey's last name. Is Joey on this podcast? <laughs> yes. And I was like, no, it's not Joey. Is that Tom Crescenzo? No. You would think. It's like, no. It's, and also, what is Chick short for? Chickalo. It's his last name. My last name okay. is Chickalo. Got it. Yeah, no, he does have a Because that was voice. like, that was that has been a mystery for me. And now well, I, I... Now I, this, you know. Now it's I, not really that much to it. It's just short for my full last name. Yeah. Got it. Um, <laughs> Very anticlimactic. It, it, well... <laughs> And he, uh, I am anticlimactic. I will, I will be getting the vaccine on Saturday, God willing. So, um, the next episode, will I'm sure I'll have something to say about that. Oh, I can't wait for you. You're gonna be, oh, my arm hurts oh, still. Yeah, my arm falls off. Yeah. Well, vaccines get transmitted through your seed, so you can, you can, you hey, can listen. give the vaccine to other people. You can yeah, be no, generous. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna uh, yeah. <laughs> imagine that. Was, that would, that be, would be fantastic. He puts like a sign on his door. We'll fuck you. We'll fuck you, you if you want vaccine. The adult babies podcast. I have to deposit it up by your prostate or else it doesn't take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Guys, if you, you made, made it this far, far, we really appreciate you. Uh, keep listening. Keep uh, keep the reviews the coming. Reviews. We, guys, the reviews. You're slacking in You're slacking. Come on. You got one at least. I want to get to 100 reviews. All right? Come on. Yeah, let's, let's bring a number up. on it. Let's bring, let's yeah, bring the number up, guys. would be nice. Um, so we really appreciate you, appreciate you listening and, uh, and Hey, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Brandon Lacaruba. Old man river, that old man river, he must know something. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> that, I, that's a beautiful voice. Oh, that thanks. Gorgeous. Brandon Lockeruba, everybody. Oh, goodbye. <laughs>